This night, many people are doomed to sleep. Celestial dragons were scared by the resurrection ghost. Buggy on the third layer in the depths too, he squatted and shivered in the corner of the prison. The third floor is very hot, but he was still trembling, afraid. It's not that you are afraid of being hungry, or that you are afraid of the prisoners here, or that there is another fear that suppresses these things. Now. By Buggy's side, there was thick blood. Drop by drop, gathered together, sticky and smelly. Buggy shrank in shock, for fear that the blood might get on him. Dead, dead, all dead, you die so fast, how am I going to sleep this night? Buggy trembled so badly that a big nose ran down. His cellmates. Just now, they were all killed by the clown ghosts who rushed in. The whole floor of the cage is full of shredded limbs. It wasn't me. Although that bastard looks like me, it's really not me. Buggy pulled his nose in sharply, feeling the bloody limbs all over the floor, and became even more frightened. I'm on the third floor, you still don't let me go. Buggy felt that he must have been spotted by the clown ghost, and he couldn't help crying. Hey hey hey, the clown walked in the dark, cracking his mouth and grinning silently. I don't know when. The balloon he was holding has turned into a hideous human head. Suspended in the sky, blood was dripping down continuously. Having absorbed countless fears, this evil spirit has become stronger and stronger. Suddenly, the clown's walking motion stopped, the corners of his mouth smile widened, his head tilted, and he looked at a cage in front of him. I saw it. Dark red blood seeped from the cage. Through the deep darkness, I could vaguely see the dead bodies lying on the ground. Each one died tragically, and it was completely tortuous. And in the center of the body, a figure stood still, holding a knife in one hand and a white cloth in the other, wiping the blood from the knife. This person is Shiryu of Rain who takes pleasure in murder. Shiryu, who was imprisoned for torturing and killing prisoners, was released by Magellan because of the recent series of haunting. Originally, Magellan planned to let Shiryu go to the sixth floor and pay attention to Lua Wen to a certain extent. But in the end Magellan dismissed the idea. One is that Luo Wen is best not to contact him for the time being, and the other is that pervert murder clown has come to the third floor. Shiryu is a guarantee for the third layer. Even if Magellan doesn't like Shiryu, he admits Shiryu's strength. From Magellan's point of view, Shiryu will not be worse than him, enough to guard the third floor. Now. Shiryu, who had just finished killing, paused slightly when he wiped the knife, as if he had sensed something. Turned his head and looked at the clown outside the cell. Is it a human or a ghost? Shiryu frowned. He looked at the bloody arm of the clown and the bloody human head balloon he was holding. His eyes changed slightly, forget it, it doesn't matter, grab my toy with me, if it's not locked up, I killed you a long time ago. Next moment. Shiryu discarded the white cloth at will, and walked out of the cell with the famous knife thunderstorm, and confronted the clown. The clown tilted his head and grinned silently. Raising his left hand, the bloody knife turned at his fingertips, seeming to be dancing. Kang. Without words, Shiryu made a knife. The thunderstorm cut through the sky suddenly, covering armament hockey, and slashed down at the clown with an unrivaled force. This knife is too fast. Just like the blazing electric light in the night, it is impossible for the naked eye to catch it. Laugh. The blade is like a falling mountain, smashing the body of the clown, splitting him in half on the spot. Boom. The ground behind the clown cracked, and horrible slashes penetrated through, cracks tens of meters long appeared, and the prisoners in the cages on both sides were trembling and trembling. Um? Shiryu frowned. The clown was split apart, but the body that was split into two halves did not flow out a little bit of blood. Instead, the split clown, with two heads, still smiling. Next second. The split clown moved freely, his gloved hand poked out ghostly, and sneakily grabbed Shiryu's sleeve. Sneer. Muffled and harsh, blood splashed, and an arm was torn off directly. Shiryu snorted, cold sweat dripping from his forehead. In an instant, he reacted, his figure exploded, and at the same time he used his only right arm to raise the knife to kill the clown. However, this time, the thunderstorm penetrated the clown's body and hit the ground heavily. The terrifying and gloomy clown tilted his head, his split body gradually healed, holding Shiryu's bloodied severed arm in his hand, his scalp numb with a weird smile. Shiryu's pupils shrank suddenly. Obviously the first knife cut open the clown's body. Not only did the second knife not hurt the clown again, on the contrary, his previous injuries were healed. Next moment. Shiryu understands that the ghost lied to him. The clown's grin was glaring, as if making a silent mockery. Patter. The clown took a step, his figure disappeared, as if he had melted into the darkness. Shiryu stared, the red light flashing in his pupils. He scanned any corner of the surroundings, but I can't find where the clown is. 
Hey hey, in the darkness that Shiryu can't see, the clown is holding a human head balloon, grinning sullenly, his smile widening. This moment, the strange laughter of the clown rang in Shiryu's ears. Buggy's eyes widened in horror in the distance, only to feel that the pores all over her body had shrunk, and hairs were standing upside down. The lights in the corridor flickered, the light flickered. It's not that the bulb is broken, but something stuck to the lampshade, blocking the light. That's a piece of intestines, rain of Shiryu's intestines. Just now, Buggy clearly saw that Shiryu of rain had died in the hands of the clown ghost, and the body was broken into pieces. Now the entire passage is full of Shiryu's stumps and arms, his body is torn apart, and the pieces are scattered all over the floor, and Shiryu's head can even be seen rolling aside, his eyes widened, and he can't stare at him. Guru. Buggy tried to escape, but his legs trembled so much that he couldn't take a step. Shiryu of the rain, and Magellan also called the copper wall and iron wall of impelled down, even to outsiders, as long as both of them are impelled down, it is impossible for anyone to escape from impelled down. But now. Shiryu of rain, died in front of Buggy's eyes, his death was extremely tragic. The copper and iron walls of impelled down, collapsed. The next day, early morning. Sengoku is going to spend the last day in Impel Down today, and will go back tomorrow. Although he still wants to continue to see if he can find clues from a few ghosts, or get answers from Luo Wen, the naval headquarters needs him and can't continue to delay. Anyway, Impel Down is free here, even if there is an extra clown, Sengoku doesn't think it will be a big problem. Simply had breakfast. Sengoku is going to find Magellan. He wants to squat again to see if he can take advantage of the last day and catch the toilet girl ghost. However, Sengoku had just left the house, after walking for a while. He felt something was wrong. The atmosphere of Impel Down is not right. Before that, although the guards were panicked because of the haunting, it was obviously more wrong today. The guards passing by had their heads lowered, and there was a feeling that all their spirits had collapsed. What's the matter? Sengoku frowned. Just now. Two guards passing by, with their heads down, were talking. I can't stay here anymore. The haunting is getting worse and worse. I want to resign. Isn't it? The prisoners are the main ones who died. We have been here for so long and nothing happened, and this time the commander in chief of the entire army is here, so the ghost should be caught soon. No, you don't know. Chief Warden, Shiryu is dead. At this point, the guard's legs trembled and his face was pale, impel down can't stay any longer, we will all die here if we stay. Sudden. The guard felt his shoulder and was put on a hand. He was taken aback and almost called out on the spot. When I turned around and saw that it was Sengoku, I was relieved. You said Shiryu is dead? Sengoku frowned in disbelief. He knew Shiryu's strength was not weaker than Magellan. How could such a character die? Yes, the guard died in a haunted. The guard nodded blankly, and was about to say follow up, but saw that Sengoku had turned around and walked quickly towards the distance. Now. Sengoku was shocked, he thought a lot, and even thought that Kong would fail to catch ghosts here. But he had never thought that Shiryu would die. Sengoku is going to the third floor where Shiryu is on, and see with his own eyes if this news is true. However, follow Sengoku all the way, one of his heart sank. Shiryu's death may be true, because he saw too many scared guards. It's different from the previous panic. This time, these guards, are really scared, scared because of haunting, scared because of the death of the mighty Shiryu. Soon. The third floor is here. As soon as Sengoku arrived, she saw Magellan with a gloomy face, standing silent in front of the bed covered with white cloth. This, Sengoku saw that the white cloth covering the bed swelled slightly, and it had been stained with blood. He took a deep breath, took a step forward, and lifted it open. Moment. Sengoku's face changed a lot. It is not even a corpse under the white cloth, but hundreds of corpses that are bloody and bloody, and even some of the corpses are missing, and it is impossible to put together a complete piece. Shiryu is dead. At this moment, the old and burly empty walked in. His voice was low and suppressed, his face was ugly, and there was unspeakable horror. The copper and iron walls of Impel Down are due to Magellan and Shiryu, and now Shiryu is dead, which means that the copper and iron walls of Impel Down no longer exist today. I never thought that this would happen if Shiryu guarded the third floor. It was my fault. I killed Shiryu. Magellan lowered his head and slightly clenched his fists. No, we didn't think it was your fault. Sangoku patted Magellan on the back. Before that, I didn't expect this to happen. Shiryu's strength was very strong, and everyone underestimated the clown ghost. Where is that buggy? Sengoku asked suddenly. I don't know, his cell was attacked by a ghost, and the door opened. Now the third floor is a mess. 
I don't know where he hid, but I can be sure that there is no escape. Magellan said in a low voice. Ding. Sengoku is scared, scared point plus five. Ding. Sora is scared, scared point plus five. Ding. Magellan is scared, scared point plus five. Ding. Guard. At this time, Luo Wen was lying on the bed, listening to the prompt sound by his ear, the corners of his mouth slightly raised. Now he is constantly receiving reminders that the guards are scared, and the frequency is constantly increasing. This means that many guards in the entire prison are in fear, and this frightening point is still spreading, the first layer. People are scared on the second and third levels. If this goes on, the whole impel down will be scared. Magellan, Kong, how would you deal with it? Luo Wen whispered, lost in thought. He didn't think for long. Xiao Zhenzi's voice suddenly rang in his mind, interrupting his thoughts. Oh? Is the Holy Land planning to move? Luo Wen narrowed his eyes. In front of him, with a strong ghost spirit, Xiao Zhenzi's figure emerged. Just. Xiao Zhenzi brought Luo Wen this news that shocked the whole world. I see, Xiao Zhenzi did a great job. Luo Wen smiled and touched Xiao Zhenzi's head. Thank you, host, for the compliment. Xiao Zhenzi gently touched Luo Wen's palm with the top of her head like a cat, but she didn't look cute, but rather gloomy. This is for the master. Xiao Junji said, not knowing where to bring up a basket of fresh fruits. Huh? It's all the fruits I like to eat, Xiao Zhenzi is awesome. Luo Wen praised her without hesitation, and squeezed Xiao Zhenzi's face. The master likes it. Xiao Zhenzi smiled gloomily happily. Subsequently, the short meeting ended, Xiao Zhenzi once again melted into the darkness and disappeared, and continued to Marie Joy's. Looking at the place where Xiao Zhenzi disappeared, Luo Wen has a smile on his face. After a while, his smile faded and he whispered. However, this move is just a plan. It will take a while for the holy place to actually move. Luo Wen's eyes flickered. Suddenly, Luo Wen's expression stopped. Ding! Five elders Saint Edward was frightened. A series of five elders scare reminders sounded. Last night, five elders, a high-ranking authority, slept unsteadily. They are waiting for news from Luo Wen. The haunting has alarmed Master Yim. Their time has become urgent and they must be resolved as soon as possible. More importantly, if it's just haunted, then forget it. I received an urgent news last night. The dead Roxani Palace crawled out of the tomb and became a wandering lonely ghost. Not only that, there are a large number of celestial dragons who died in the haunted world. All of them have become ghosts, and are now wandering in the holy land. This really made five elders heart tensed and couldn't sleep at all. From time to time you can see, familiar, figures drifting by outside the window. They are dead, but now they have come back to life and become ghosts. With a hideous face and bleeding from the seven orifices, it makes people feel hairy all over the body. This can no longer be concealed, and there has even been an incident of the resurrected celestial dragons ghostly hurting people. This makes celestial dragons who don't have ghost handprints unable to calm down. They were scared, for fear that they would be strangled to death by their dead parents crawling out of the cemetery when they slept until midnight. More and more celestial dragons are moving jointly, and they need to change a place. It's impossible to hide it anymore. The celestial dragons will leave Marie Joy's soon, the whole world will know. There are two things that make five elders unable to sit still the most. This is one of them, and the other is. Lord Yim has come to ask again. Can't wait. Nagabe five elders said. What he said was that he couldn't wait, which meant that he couldn't wait any longer for Luo Wen to think about it. Are you going to see him? Five elders with horns and beard looked at it, which made him look ugly. They are going to meet someone in person to negotiate terms, which is a shame to them. I can't help but, Master Yim asked twice, if we don't handle it well, it will be our negligence. Nagasu five elders got up, he wanted to make preparations, and immediately went to impel down to see Luo Wen in person. We are waiting for your news. The blonde five elders took a deep breath and said these words in a low voice. Good. Although this is a shame and has saved their face, it must be done right now. Had to meet Luo Wen in person. Nagabe five elders nodded, then turned to look at the CP staff beside him. Go to the empty phone worm immediately. I am. Luo Wen narrowed his eyes. Through the ghost handprints left on the arm of five elders with horns and beards, he saw what happened in the Holy Land Marie Joys. In the original book, there is actually very little description of EIM, and it is only a silhouette when he appears on the scene. The only information that can be known is the Lord of the Void Throne and the King of Celestial Dragons. Maybe. What do these guys who are locked in eternal hell know? Luo Wen turned his head and asked toward the endless and deep darkness. 
Do you know, a celestial dragon's named Iim? The voice fell. A pair of eyes opened in the dark, looking towards Luo Wen. There are doubts. There is an accident. I'm. The names of those idiots of celestial dragons are all saints and palaces. Do not know. Luo Wen, you asked another strange question. The prisoner made a sound and the chain rang, but no one could answer. No one knows. Luo Wen frowned. In fact, Yim's existence is really mysterious. He suspects that no one except celestial dragons knows the existence of such a supreme king. Just when Luo Wen wanted to give up the questioning. That is a legend of celestial dragons. Letterfield in the depths suddenly spoke. Huh. Luo Wen looked at it. That is the legend that celestial dragons can have their current status. I have heard this from a celestial dragons. An old whisper came from a distance. Letterfield's eyes narrowed slightly, seeming to recall a memory. Can you be more specific? Luo Wen's eyes flickered. All I know is this. Letterfield was low. After saying this, he stopped speaking, closed his eyes again, and took a short rest. Hear the words. Luo Wen nodded lightly, thoughtfully. Is there really such a person? Even the old guy said so. Dot Im. Someone in the dark was surprised and frowned. I am. This name is remembered by them. That afternoon. Sangoku did not stay any longer, and was already on board the warship returning to naval headquarters. Shiryu's incident shocked him, which instead prompted him to return to naval headquarters immediately, not wanting to stay in Impel Down too much. Even characters like Shiryu will die. Then naval headquarters, also can be dangerous. Sangoku felt that he had to go back and sit down as soon as possible. But, when the warship Sangoku was on was about to leave the port, he saw a ship. A big ship of world politics, five elders, really coming. Sangoku's eyes widened, and he saw the old figure standing on the deck. He has a long beard, and even though he is old, he still reveals a kind of loftiness from his bones, as if everything in the world is under control. Life and death, iron and blood ruthless, Sangoku recognized at a glance, it was one of five elders. He was stunned, and then reacted instantly. Five elders are here, here eternal hell. Is this looking for Luo Wen? This is so surprising, if you say it, it will shake the world. Empty negotiations failed. Now that five elders are here, who in history can have such a high salary? Roger, the One Piece king back then, was the best treatment, right? Sangoku took a deep breath. Just watching the big ship of five elders, slowly sailing into the port of Impel Down. Beyond anyone's expectations, five elders are here. At this moment, Impel Down. Let go of me, let me go. Why do you want to catch me again? Buggy, who was hiding on the third floor, was pulled out and was being escorted away from the third floor by guards. I want to move again. I don't want it. The fourth floor is hot to death. The fifth floor is cold to death. I will die if I go in. Buggy screamed in tears and kept begging the stone-hearted guard to let him go. But just in the next second, Buggy who was yelling suddenly froze. At the corner of the corridor, he saw a few figures with jaw dropping. Sora, Magellan, and an old man. This old man, walking in the forefront, Sora and Magellan were behind him, and there was a faint sense of looking forward to the horse's head. This is, Buggy was stunned, Sora and Magellan both knew him. One is the commander-in-chief of the whole army, and the other is director impelled down, the old man who can make these two characters bow their heads. Who will it be? Buggy thought about it for a while, and felt terrified in his heart. At the same time, Luo Wen who just had lunch. Sitting at the table intently, playing with a pair of scattered puzzles. Luo Wen doesn't know what pattern it will be, but that's how it will surprise. I look forward to continuing the spelling. Suddenly, the darkness in front of Luo Wen trembled, and the figure in white skirt floated on tiptoe. Master, here you are. Xiao Zhenzi carried a basket of fruits and brought it to Luo Wen obediently. A healing smile appeared on her gloomy little face. She was very happy, because Luo Wen praised her before, so she brought some fruits over. And this time Xiao Zhenzi also brought a lot of videotapes Luo Wen said he wanted to watch. Put a stack aside, piled up into a hill. Xiao Zhenzi is very good, but I don't have to bring any more fruit. I haven't finished eating yet. You can get it when I ask for it. Luo Wen smiled and rubbed Xiao Zhenzi's head. Uh huh. Xiao Zhenzi nodded obediently, put the fruits away, and disappeared into the darkness lightly with the empty basket. At this time, Luo Wen suddenly turned his head and looked in the direction of the entrance. See you. The heavy door was pushed open, the light swayed into the dark eternal hell, and in the light, several figures strode out. Not someone else. It is the Longbeard Five Elders, and there is still time in Magellan. Oh, I was seen. 
Luo Wen smiled and shook his head when he saw this. That is, just in time to arrive at Eternal Hell's Longbeard Five Elders, Sora is shocked. The moment they stepped into the Eternal Hell just now. In a hurry, I saw a ghostly ghost in white dress, carrying a fruit basket out of Luo Wen's cage, like a weightless floating in the air, and finally disappeared into the darkness a little bit. Nagabe Five Elders and Sora can be sure that they are female ghosts who do evil in the Holy Land. Sure enough. All this has something to do with Luo Wen. The eyes of both of them changed, and stormy waves emerged in their hearts. It's her, the ghost in white I saw, Magellan frowned. At first he saw a female ghost on Luo Wen's shoulder, but now it is certain that it is the one who just walked out. The long beard five elders flickered and walked silently to Luo Wen's cage. The female ghost really has something to do with you, he said, his eyes darkened, and he stared at Luo Wen. Luo Wen picked up a jigsaw puzzle, placed it in place, and looked up at five elders. I said it was my ex-girlfriend and the old man, it's rude to talk to me without introducing myself. Dot old man? Magellan's eyelids twitched, talking to five elders like this? The CP0 around was angry, some frowned, and some even wanted to make a move. Longbeard five elders waved his hand and signaled the CPS not to move, he squinted his eyes and looked at Luo Wen, unexpectedly, and spoke slowly. Saint Bruce, one of the Marie Joy's five elders. These words, like a blockbuster, exploded in eternal hell. Five elders. Really? It's him, it can't be wrong, I have seen him from a distance. At that time there was a group of people around him to protect. Hey, it's a pity, I still wanted to kill him. Someone said gloomily. He is the strong man who has a history with world politics, and his biggest idea was to kill a five elders. The arrival of five elders was unexpected. At this moment, in the deepest part of the prison, in the special sea stone cage, there is a breath of horror overflowing. Suddenly, there is light in the darkness, and it is a pair of terrifying eyes that are opening, sharp enough to pierce the darkness, staring at five elders from a distance. His awakening caused the surrounding cells to tremble undetectably, and the prisoners inside subconsciously moved away, not daring to approach him. This man is exactly the descendant of the devil who is not inferior to Letterfield Bullet. Bullet does not move easily. After being imprisoned in eternal hell for so many years, he has been quietly exercising to become stronger. But now, the appearance of five elders, let him break away from the state of meditation exercise, opened his eyes to see. Five elders. Crocodile looked at the old figure standing at the door of Luo Wen's cage. His face changed again and again, even if he was indifferent, he couldn't keep calm at this moment. Crocodile was thinking before that even if five elders came, he wouldn't be surprised. But now it really appears. I still can't control my emotions to shock. Five elders are here. Because of Luo Wen's sincerity, he personally came to eternal hell. Ha 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 ha. Laugh to death. Why did five elders, a high ranking authority, come to such a dirty place like us? Is it because of what Luo Wen said before? Tisk tusk tusk. It seems that five elders is the same thing. The weird people who like to tell ghost stories just say a few words, and they ran over. There were noisy voices all around. Some whispered and sighed, some sneered and mocked. To this, Longbeard Five Elders didn't care. His eyes always looked at Luo Wen, but at the next moment, Nagabe Five Elders' body shook, and the body suddenly backed away. Um. Unexpectedly, he didn't perceive any danger. Why was Five Elders backing away? Next second, he followed the gaze of Five Elders with long beards, his pupils suddenly shrank, his muscles instinctively tense. Sora saw it in amazement. On the table in front of Luo Wen, there is a stack of videotapes stacked up high, there are at least 30. A single videotape can destroy the name of Marie Joyce's holy place. Now there are more than 30 in Luo Wen? Moment. Kong's body is hairy, and her heart is terrified. Luo Wen in the cage suddenly noticed something was wrong with them. He turned his eyes and found that Nagabe Five Elders and Sora were watching the videotape on the table. At once, Luo Wen's eyes flickered. Is this a misunderstanding? Luo Wen. Longbeard Five Elders spoke calmly, and he was worthy of being the master of Marie Joy's. Even if he saw more than 30 videotapes, he still quickly calmed down. He stepped forward, his eyes closed slightly. What Sora said to you is what we mean, and we sincerely intend to cooperate with you. Hear the words. Luo Wen looked. You still have no sincerity. Luo Wen broke the grapefruit, peeled a piece of white and tender flesh, and slowly put it into his mouth. What are you kidding? Accompanying CP0 is furious. In their opinion, it is a shame that the Longbeard Five Elders can come in person, and it is a great exaggeration to Luo Wen, but now Luo Wen says he has no sincerity? 
Longbeard Five Elders was unmoved, raised his hand to interrupt CP0, and then continued to look at Luo Wen. Why? Luo Wen put down the peeled grapefruit, picked up the instant camera on the next table, and pointed it at CP0 who had just spoken, and pressed the shutter with a click. The photo spit out from below the Polaroid. Luo Wen glanced at the photo and said without lifting his head, Five elders, are they five? Moment. Empty eyelids twitched. Nagabe Five elders' face sank. Luo Wen first said that if he was sincere, he would let five elders come, but now he is coming, but Luo Wen said this. The implication. It is sincerity that all five five elders are present. I hope you think about it again. Nagabe five elders was silent for a moment, then turned and left after shaking off these words. But before leaving, Changshu five elders paused and turned his head to look at Luo Wen. What did you mean by taking a photo? Luo Wen didn't answer, but took two bites of grapefruit for himself, as if he hadn't heard the words of five elders. Upon seeing this, Longbeard five elders' eyes flickered, but didn't ask any more, just turned around and left. Wait until Nagasu five elders and Sora and others completely leave eternal hell. Luo Wen stopped holding the photo. Suddenly, with a flick of his finger, the photo revolved and flew up and fell to the shadow in the dark part of the cage, floating lightly on the ground. Kill him. The voice fell. At the edge of the shadow, a gloved hand stretched out and picked up the photo on the ground. Now. The Polaroid photo is becoming clear a little bit, revealing the appearance of CP0. The clown holding a human head balloon. I don't know when it will appear. He looked at the photo in his hand, tilted his head, and smiled gloomily and horribly. The picture in the cage. No one saw it. The clown disappeared silently. Luo Wen, I see you getting more and more comfortable now. In the cell next door, the prisoner who had a feast on world politics grinned. He saw five elders with long beards eating deflated, and his heart was not happy. If it was outside, he would like to take Luo Wen to drink. It can be said that the prisoner was really anxious that five elders went out and was hit and killed by a ship. Actually, Luo Wen, you are. Dot not so good. In the opposite cage, Jinbei hesitated for a moment and reminded him out, five elders has great rights. If you do this, five elders will most likely hate you, and it may be against you at that time, so be careful. Yeah. Luo Wen nodded unexpectedly when he heard Jinbei's reminder. Then. He thought of something, a smile appeared on his face, should I send you out? Jinbei was stunned when he heard this, send him out. Luo Wen is not joking, but can really send him out. There is no need to question this too much, because Luo Wen went out once himself, and he must have his own special methods. But, Jinbei still shook his head. I can't go out, I represent the Fishmen Island. The rest of the words were not spoken, but in fact, Luo Wen has already understood. Jinbei is linked to the Fishmen Island, and before that, he was able to become seven warlords of the sea. In addition to his strength, a very important reason is that Jinbei came from the Fishmen Island. To make Jinbei a Shichibukai, a large part of it is to strengthen the harmony between races and express the friendship between humans and the Merman tribe and the Merman tribe. It can be said that Jinbei has long been inseparable from the Fishmen Island. Once escaped from prison, it will inevitably be implicated in the Fishmen Island. It is impossible for him to watch an accident in his hometown. Just forget it if you don't want to go out. Luo Wen nodded. He knew that Jinbei would be like this. However, if you want to go out later, you can tell me again, I think I like you better. Jinbei was taken aback. He didn't expect Luo Wen to say these things to himself, but he nodded slightly. You can also like me and send me out. Nine tails flew at Luo Wen a wink. Ha 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 ha, Dimai, Luo Wen might look down on you like this. Yes, I think he likes a strong man like Jinbei. I think I'm pretty good. There is a lot of noise in the dark. Too many people are talking. Some are joking, but more people are really hopeful and expect Luo Wen to send them out. However, Luo Wen, now, did not visit them. Instead, he smiled and looked at a corner of eternal hell. Where? There is a new prisoner who is shivering. Welcome to my new neighbor. Luo Wen smiled lightly. Just now, the arrival of five elders attracted everyone's attention, or they didn't care about another thing. That is. Buggy was escorted to eternal hell. Now. Buggy panicked. Looking at the surroundings shiveringly, one by one prisoners in the dark. This is where? Not the fourth floor, not the fifth floor. In Impel Down, when is there such a terrible prison? Buggy really frightened his legs and trembled. There was nothing particularly scary here, unlike the beasts on the third floor, the heat on the fourth floor, and the cold on the fifth floor. But this is definitely the most terrifying place, it's all because of the prisoners in it. Even though they were bound by chains and imprisoned in a cage, they still exuded a terrible aura. 
which even made Buggy feel fear, and his legs trembled. Then Buggy shuddered sharply. He found that in the cell opposite to him, the man who refused five elders was staring at him intently and greeted himself. Ha ha, hello, hello. Buggy squeezed a smile that was uglier than crying. He felt his heart beating fiercely, as if it was about to explode in the next second. Buggy heard the conversation between this man and five elders just now. He is not an idiot. He has also heard some haunted rumors. Just a moment, Buggy understood. The man in front of him who is in a suit and shoes in the cage is very likely to be the initiator of the haunting. A guy who is scarier than a ghost, or he is a ghost himself, is even more dangerous than the terrifying prisoners present. Although, Buggy was in the cage and saw the terrifying people who once swept the sea. Nine Tails, Joe the Drunkard, and the Blood Deer Jones. But in Buggy's eyes, they are not as good as the man in front of him who is smiling at him. Buggy can't stretch anymore. He felt that if the man continued to laugh at him, he would cry. Fortunately, Lua Wen just looked at him for a few seconds, then quickly retracted his gaze and sat back on the sofa. The other voices in the prison also disappeared. The prisoners knew Lua Wen's character. This guy was like that. He ignored people if he didn't want to talk. They were all used to Lua Wen's style and consciously closed their mouths. Which one is better first? Luo Wen smiled and picked up a videotape from the table at random, took out another video phone worm, and inserted the videotape into the special connection port of the phone worm. Puff. The phone worm craned its neck and its eyes shimmered. A picture was cast out, Papa Papa. Luo Wen. Two celestial dragons, applauding for love? The female celestial dragons are so big, ah, that's not right, so white, and that's not right. And many more. This is not right. Why do celestial dragons still have a hobby of collecting small videos? Are you planning to make Madu? Cough cough, Tianlong Media? But. Luo Wen did not turn off the videotape immediately. Instead, he sat on the sofa and looked at it. Because the heroine looks really good, soon. The applause sounded, and the surrounding prisoners heard it clearly. No one should mind, right? Luo Wen said without looking back. In the dark depths of Letterfield, his eyelids twitched lightly. After whispering a, weird, he slowly closed his eyes. He still has qualities, but the other prisoners have already exploded. Luo Wen, you are simply not a human being. Even if you eat delicious food in the cage, you now. Actually, actually pay it back. Bah, I mind it, unless you show it to me. A lot of prisoners are swearing, and they are responsible for Luo Wen's, unjust, behavior. Luo Wen grinned. Leave these bastards alone. Suddenly, his expression was slightly startled. Batchy. I'm on Cake Island, the second half of New World. Cake Island. In the aunt's favorite dessert restaurant. The eldest son of the Charlotte family, Charlotte Perispero is holding a phone worm and talking to someone. What you said is true. Perispero frowned. The person on the other end of the phone just said a shocking piece of information, so that the first reaction after hearing it was that it was false information. Naturally, it is true. My Morgan's intelligence is the world's first. Although things about the Holy Land and naval headquarters are not very dynamic, I still caught them. Inside the phone worm, a sharp and excited voice came. It is the president of the World News Economic Agency who made this call. Dot big news Morgans. The Holy Land and naval headquarters are quiet, but some powerful and keen people know about it, and he is one of them. Well, we will pay you for this information according to the old rules. Perispero nodded, said a few more words and then hung up the phone. Then, he put away the phone bug, walked to the long table in the middle of the restaurant, found his place and sat down. Brother, haunted? Really? On the right side of the long table, with a fat body, the sixth son of the family, Charlotte Conte, turned his head and said in surprise. Well. In the next second, at the very front of the dining table, on the main seat, a figure of a huge female in a pink coat suddenly said. She grabbed a piece of donut and put it in her mouth hurriedly. She is the queen of Cake Island, now Kuhn is one of the four emperors at the top of New World, Big Mom, Charlotte Linlin. Eat donuts in two bites. The aunt didn't wipe her mouth, she grinned and said, haunted? To deceive a new era kid, but you can't deceive me. There must be some action on the world government. Let me pay attention. Yes, mother. On the long table, the family members on both sides nodded, agreeing with the aunt's words. Soon. This afternoon tea is over. The family members gathered are ready to leave. Before leaving, the cute ponytail girl, Charlotte Flamp, the 36th daughter of the Charlotte family, shouted at Kata Curry and other elder brothers who were about to leave. Brother Kata Curry, Brother Owen, Brother Moscato, Brother Conte, Brother Opella, remember to come tomorrow. Flampy smiled sweetly and acted like a baby to his brothers. 
This is what she said at the dinner table today. Tomorrow, she will let some brothers come to her house as guests and eat delicious food, she will cook for the brothers herself. Because of this, she didn't plan to go back today. She was going to stay at Cake Island for one night. Her mother helped her build a house, right next to her mother's castle. Okay, see you tomorrow. Kata Curry nodded slightly, looking cold, but he was definitely a qualified brother. Aha. Uh -huh. Flamp was in a good mood. After bidding farewell to the brothers, he chewed on bubblegum and walked to the room his mother had prepared for her. Although I have been voted my favorite sister by 40 of the 41 brothers, I still cannot be taken lightly. I must let all my brothers vote that I am my favorite sister, and other sisters cannot be favored by my brothers. She muttered in a low voice, but when she mentioned other sisters, her cuteness was gone, instead she appeared savage and headstrong, pampered and proud. My lord, I will take you to the room. A chess soldier came up and respectfully wanted to wear a road for Fran. Hurry up, I want to sleep. Flampy didn't even look at the chess soldier, raised his head proudly, and walked away. On the way, Flamp seemed to disdain to walk with the chess soldiers, feeling that such an ugly thing was detrimental to her cuteness. After knowing the specific location of the room, he blasted the chess soldiers away and chose to go back on her own. The aunt arranged for her a very nice residence, a small independent bungalow, and a courtyard, which looked very generous. Flamp opened the door and bounced into the compound. What? Suddenly, Fran Payton lived. She saw that on the fence at the edge of the yard, there was a white sun hat above the vegetation, as if someone was standing behind, but it was blocked by dense vegetation, and only one hat was visible. Popo popo. -po. At the same time, along with it, there was a strange laughter. What kind of laughter? Flamp frowned, and she blinked at the sun hat, Sister Armand. Flamp remembered that Sister Armand had similar hats. Then, the white sun hat moved, as if the owner of the hat was walking, towards, mom's direction? What is Sister Armand going to do with her mother? Flamp blinked and sprinted to catch up, curiously wanting to go up and ask. However, when Flamp chased it out, Sister Armand was gone. Under the curiosity trend, Flamp returned the same way and returned to the ant's castle. Now, although the afternoon tea is over, the ant is still sitting in her seat, devouring desserts. Seeing Flamp back again, the ant raised her head and looked at it unexpectedly. Flamp, why are you back again, aren't you going to sleep? I just saw Sister Armand coming over. I haven't seen her for a long time. I want to ask how she is doing. Flamp blinked his eyes and put on a cute face that was completely different in front of the servant. Heard this. The ant grabbed a biscuit and ate it and smiled. A man is looking for a delicious donut for me now. He hasn't come back yet. Did you read it wrong? No, I'm not mistaken. Frampy was stunned. She dared to swear that she was right. Okay, go back to sleep. The ant waved impatiently and drove Flamp away. Yes, Flampy had no choice but to turn around and go back. She knew that her mother was already impatient. But, if Sister Armand really hasn't come back yet, then, what did I see? Am I really wrong? Flamp walked out of the ant's castle irritably. She wondered if she had read it wrong, but if it was only a blink of an eye, she could clearly see the white sun hat moving. No, someone wearing a white sun hat must have walked away just now. Is that bastard brother and sister tricking me? Flamp was completely cute and angry and stubborn. Quickly check, who is frightening me? She turned her head, angrily at the chess soldiers. Yes, yes. The chess soldier lowered his head, but he was conscientious. Huh, go to sleep. Flampy yawned, I don't know which annoying guy interrupted my nap, now I have to go back to sleep quickly, otherwise my skin will be bad and it will be unlovable. On the way back, there is nothing unusual. The sun was just right, the wind was beautiful, everything was normal, and the white sun hat did not appear again. Flamp is more certain that a certain brother or sister is tricking himself. Night is coming. Hum hum, Flamp hummed a pleasant little song, preparing for tomorrow's dessert overnight. Tomorrow I will surprise brother Kata Curry and let all the brothers vote that I am the cutest sister. Flamp imagined that he would overwhelm the younger sisters in the future, and couldn't help but raise the corners of his mouth. Tuck tuck. Suddenly, the door of the room was knocked. Huh? Anyone else is so late? Flamp was surprised. It's me. A husky, magnetic male voice rang outside the door. It's the voice of Kata Curry. Why did brother Kata Curry come to me so late? Flamp recognized his brother's voice at once, bounced and smiled to open the door. Popo popo. -po. However, just as Flamp pressed the doorknob to open the door, a strange laugh came from outside the door. Frampy has heard this laughter. It seems that this afternoon, when the sun had appeared. Huh. It turned out that brother Kata Curry scared me this afternoon. I'm angry and won't open the door for you, Flamp Sunere turned his head. 
Bang, bang, bang. Kata Curry outside the door continued to knock. Brother Kata Curry doesn't praise me as the cutest, so I won't open it for you. Flamp pouted and sat on the sofa, just not opening the door to Kata Curry outside. Bang, bang, bang. Kata Curry is very persistent, once and again, the interval is the same every time she knocks on the door. Brother Kata Cooley doesn't praise me, Fran stomped angrily. Popo popo. -po. Outside the door, the strange laughter sounded again. I heard this laugh again. Flamp was stunned. The anger that was teased at the beginning dissipated, and she calmed down. Something's wrong. Flamp knows the character of Brother Kata Curry. Not to mention it's very cold, but she definitely can't scare her by wearing a women's sun hat. And this kind of laughter. Dot how could Brother Kata Curry make this kind of noise? Someone is pretending to be Brother. Who is it? Flampy's eyebrows were upside down, and she stepped closer to the door, trying to make the bastard who pretended to be Kata Curry's brother outside the door to look good. But the moment she approached the door, door. Suddenly it was knocked open by someone outside the door. The cold moonlight spilled in, this moment. Flampy's eyes widened, it wasn't Kata Curry outside the door, or even anyone in the Charlotte family. That is the figure of a gloomy tall woman, with disheveled hair, blue complexion, white skirt and sun hat, elegance and horror coexist. What is even more frightening is that she is obviously tall and almost blocking the entire door, but there is no shadow on the ground. Popo popo. -po. The tall woman in the western dress opened her mouth and let out a weird low laugh. What? Flampe's scalp numb instantly, suddenly. Flampe's scream stopped abruptly. A gust of wind blew. Squeak. The door swayed gently, the moonlight shone in, but there was no one in the house. On the ground. The cooking apron fell, and the wind swayed gently. Ding. Charlotte Flamper is scared, scared point plus one oh. Luo Wen finished the corner of the puzzle and sighed with a chuckle when he heard a voice coming from his ears. This is a lot of scares. It seems that the scared is really miserable, but it is a pity that there will be no more leaks without her in the future. Early the next morning. Kata Curry and a few brothers came early in the morning. Flampeo's breakfast and lunch, it is said that they have spent a lot of thought, they cannot be in vain. Flamp, here we are. Kata Curry stood at the gate of the yard and yelled several times, but strangely did not get a response. Um? Owen raised his eyebrows. Did Flamper go out? Isn't it possible? Since Sister Flamp wants us to come over, she will definitely be prepared in advance and won't go out suddenly. This is a very demerit. Moscato looked surprised. He knows the character of this younger sister, and has always wanted to be favored by all his brothers. How could he give up such a good opportunity? The door is unlocked. Suddenly, Kata Curry frowned. He tried to push the door, and the door opened directly. It was not locked, it was just ajar. What happened? After the older brothers all walked into the yard, their complexion changed to varying degrees. They searched the entire house, but did not find Flamp. My sister. Is gone. I'm going outside to look for it. Irving couldn't sit still, and left the house behind. I'll go too. Opella followed closely. What the hell is going on? Kata Curry worried, he stayed at home and did not leave, so that if Flamp came back by himself, he could tell the other brothers as soon as possible. It didn't take long. Kata Curry searching the house suddenly discovered a very strange phenomenon. The salt has turned black. Kata Curry frowned. He reached out and touched the black salt, his fingertips stained with dark salt particles. Kata Curry put his finger in front of him, and he faintly felt something wrong. Time flies. In the evening, all the older brothers who had gone out looking for Flamp returned. The result is nothing. I can't find it, Sister Flamp is gone. Owen's face was ugly. He searched for a long time this afternoon and went to various places. Basically, he turned the cake island upside down, but he still couldn't find Fu. Lamp. He also asked the chess soldiers stationed near the port, but did not see Flamp go to sea. A big living person. Just evaporates from the world. The brothers looked at each other. Everyone's heart is sinking. By this time, everyone felt something was wrong. Flamp. It's very likely that something has happened. Where's Flamp it? Have you found it? At this moment. The ant came from outside, followed by a group of chess soldiers. She has an ugly face. Owen and the others were looking for Flamp very much, and even the ant in the castle was alarmed. No, Owen inhaled and shook his head slightly. Damn it, anyone dare to do something on our cake island? In an instant, the ant was furious. A terrible breath emerged like a volcanic eruption, the grass and trees in the courtyard were all low, and the gravel on the ground trembled, as if a storm would appear here. The whole cake island disappeared, and Flamp had no reason to leave. There is only one possibility left, she was taken away. Is it possible that something else? 
Opella frowned. Cake Island has a tight line of defense. He didn't think anyone could sneak in and quietly take Flamp away. Hearing Opera's words, a chess soldier's expression changed, and then he trot up. Mom. Lord Flamp encountered a strange incident yesterday, and asked me to investigate. He thought of the strange thing that happened yesterday afternoon, and told the ant all the sun hat and laughter that Flamp encountered yesterday. Hear the words. The ant's anger was stagnant, her face changed one after another. At this moment, she thought of what Flamp said when she went to see her yesterday. At that time, Flamp said that someone had come to his castle, and he also said it looked like Armand. But the problem is that the ant herself didn't feel any other people at all, let alone laughter. Check it out. The ant's face was cold, anger burning in her eyes. Flamp disappeared. Although the news was deliberately blocked, Owen's search for Flamp was very loud during the day, and the residents of Cake Island had faintly guessed what. And on this night, many people have heard the weird laughter one after another. One night passed. Cake Island people are panicking. Last night, many people heard strange laughter, and those who heard the laughter were without exception. Dot all were missing. Now. The central castle of Cake Island. The ant above the throne is ugly. Click. Her wrists energized, and the armrests on both sides of the throne burst into pieces. A group of chess soldiers knelt and shivered before the queen. The same method. The ant's eyes narrowed, and her anger emerged. She received a lot of news early this morning. Many people on Cake Island heard the laughter of Popopo last night. However, some people have disappeared out of thin air. This makes the ant's face ugly, which is almost the same as the situation when Flamp disappeared. Do it by a hostile person? Kaido? Red hair? Or is it world politics? Damn it. What the hell is this? How well it disappeared without a trace? Irving kicked a chair to pieces angrily. He was very aggrieved, looking for a day and night, but failed to find Flamp. Moment. The ant who heard Owen's words looked over, her eyes flashed with inexplicable light. What's the matter? Owen was startled, he was terrified by the ant's eyes. At the same time, ding, Charlotte Irving is scared, scared point plus one. Ding, Charlotte Kata Curry is scared, scared point plus one. Ding, Lua Wen smiled on his face as he listened to the beeping sounds in his ears. I have accumulated a lot of points recently, and I can get something new again. Host. Luo Wen, combat power, 540 million, do not use the power of ghosts. Scare point. 2368 open the mall page. Luo Wen pulls down very purposefully. He has long been fond of an ability, and now he has enough points to redeem. Ghost teleportation. Can be teleported to the place where the ghost is, permanent ability, no CD, price 500 scare points. Without hesitation, Luo Wen chooses to redeem. Ding. The redemption is successful. Luo Wen stood up and felt the inexplicable power emerging from his body. At this moment, he felt that he was more closely connected with Li Gui, and a map appeared in his mind. You can see where the ghosts are. Da Sadako, Naval Headquarters. Shaojenko, Marie Joyce, Joker, Impel Down. Lord Bachi, Cake Island. Go and look at Bachi. Luo Wen has an idea and wants to execute it on Cake Island. He stepped out, his figure flickered and disappeared out of thin air. Here we go again. Crocodile's pupils in the opposite cage suddenly shrank. Um? Jinbei and Ace noticed Crocodile's movement and followed Crocodile's line of sight. But I saw. Luo Wen's cage was already empty, without his presence. This, Jinbei was stunned. Does this prison really come and leave? He disappeared this time by different means. Crocodile was low. He remembers clearly that the first time Luo Wen disappeared, his body penetrated out, but this time he disappeared by teleporting directly. Damn Luo Wen. How many methods are there? I really want to go if I want to go. I also want to go out and have a look. It's been a long time since I went out to find a woman. There will be grass growing in this cage. There are prisoners scolding around, but the words are full of envy. At this moment, Eternal Hell's door was pushed open, and several figures walked in. They are the guards of Impel Down. From time to time, we will check whether there are any omissions in the sixth layer. However, when the guards passed Luo Wen's cell, they only felt a chill rushing, and they felt that their breathing would stop. Luo Wen. No, no more. The guards were panicked, and a series of haunts came down. Even in their hearts, Luo Wen was more dangerous than any prisoner in eternal hell. And now the most dangerous Luo Wen has disappeared and left the cage. Quickly, go tell Director Magellan. Someone recovered and ran to the exit of eternal hell quickly. They want to convey this terrible news to Magellan as soon as possible. At the same time, Inside the director's office. 
Changshu Five Elders has not left yet, he is waiting for Luo Wen to give a reply. But now, his face is ugly, a corpse was in front of him. The death was so terrible and beyond recognition. It was CP0 who spoke to Luo Wen at Eternal Hell before. Last night, he died, the death was silent, no one even knew. Someone went looking for him the next morning and found him in the sink. It was cut into pieces and jammed in the sink. Luo Wen must have done this. The surrounding CP0 looked angry, and their colleagues died just like that, dead cruel and inhumane. Luo Wen. The long beard five elders narrowed his eyes, and fear emerged in his heart. This CP0 spoke harshly to Luo Wen and died that night. This has nothing to do with Luo Wen, and even a fool would not believe it. But the question is how did Luo Wen do it? Last night, no one noticed that CP0 died silently. This method of assassination is more terrifying than CP0, which is based on assassination, and it is even more chilling. And at this moment, the guard broke into the office. Director Magellan, Luo Wen of Eternal Hell is gone. The guard looked flustered and spoke extremely fast. He couldn't imagine Luo Wen, who was even more terrifying than Li Gui, would bring much disaster to the world once he escaped from prison. Huh? It's gone again? Magellan stared at him and stood up from his seat. Go and search be sure to find him, he suddenly ordered, but as soon as the voice fell, Longbeard Five Elders raised his hand. Don't be so troublesome, Luo Wen won't leave. Longbeard Five Elders squinted, Luo Wen has absolute confidence. If this man wants to leave the prison, he will stand in front of all of us, tell us that he is leaving, and then disappear in front of us with weird means. This. Magellan was stunned, the empty eyes on the side flickered. Although he didn't have much contact with Luo Wen, he had to admit that, what the Longbeard Five Elders said is mostly right, Luo Wen is such a person. It can be said that he is confident, and it can be said that he is arrogant, but he has such confidence. This time he may be the same as last time, leaving quietly, coming back suddenly, and walking into the prison by himself, Kong whispered. Magellan was silent and couldn't refute it. Suddenly, Longbeard Five Elders no longer struggled with this problem, looked sideways to the sky, and said in a low voice, Sora, go talk to the prisoner on the sixth floor. Hear the words. Sora's expression changed, and finally he nodded slightly. Cooperation is still waiting. The second program is about to start. This is the ruthlessness of five elders, and there will never be any hesitation in starting. These people, you can try to contact them. Nagabe five elders raised his hand while speaking. CP0 next to him walked up and handed an empty list. Sora took the list and scanned it a few times. Turn around and leave. He is going to eternal hell and personally talk to these monsters in the dark depths. New World, the second half, Cake Island. In the center of Cake Island is the ant's castle. Generally, only the ant lives alone. Sometimes when a party is held, the sons or daughters who live on the islands will come over. On the fringe of Cake Island is a residential town, where not only humans, but also many other rare races live. This is the ant's philosophy, to build an unprecedented kingdom, all races must be accommodated. Now. Just near the town of Cake Island, this is a sparsely populated plain, and you can see pastry-like houses scattered around. Call, obviously it is noon, but the hanging wind is gloomy, and it makes people get goosebumps. Suddenly, a tall female figure appeared. She was wearing a western dress and a sun hat. She did not know when she would appear. The ghost is invisible. The sunlight penetrates her body and there is no shadow left. It is the master Bachiko who set off a wave of haunting on Cake Island. Owner. Suddenly, Master Bachi, who made Cake Island frightened, bent over to the air in front of him and saluted respectfully. Next second. The space in front of Master Eight Feet trembled, and a tall figure in a black suit took a step from it, as if torn the space. This ability is really convenient. Luo Wen stood still and looked around, a smile appeared on his face. The distance from Impel down to Cake Island is very long. Normally, even a marine warship traveling at full speed would take more than three days but I used ghost teleportation, just in the blink of an eye. It's been a long time since I came out for activities to bask in the sun. Luo Wen moved his lower body, his joint bones crackled. Bachi, you are free to move around. Luo Wen smiled and said this to Master Bachi, then turned and walked towards the small town not far ahead. The buildings in the town are basically desserts, which look like a variety of large desserts falling on the ground from a distance. Luo Wen walked on the street casually, in a relaxed posture, enjoying the leisure of shopping. Luo Wen also has to admit that, without considering the ant's soul extraction, IWC Toto Land is indeed a very harmonious place. 
The environment is beautiful, there is no struggle, and all races live in peace. It really looks like a kingdom that only exists in fairy tales. Did not go far. Luo Wen stopped in front of a bar. It's been a long time since I had a good drink. I don't know how the cake island is. He smiled and walked in. At the same time, as one of the three stars of the Ant Pirates, Charlotte Smokey walks down the street. The disappearance of Sister Flamper, the entire Charlotte family, no matter how good the relationship is with her, are looking for her trace, which is related to the face of the Charlotte family. However, looking for a day and night, Smokey had no clue. Where did you go? Smokey had a headache. At this moment, she glanced at a bar from the corner of her eye, and changed it to be very lively. From time to time, there were chats and laughter when drinking glasses clinked. The sun was hot at noon. Smokey hesitated a little, walked into the bar, found a corner seat, and ordered a glass of orange juice from the boss. Smokey held his chin, waiting for the boss to bring up the orange juice. Suddenly, she heard a startled cry from behind. Oh my god, there is such a thing, it's really too bad. Sadako is so pitiful, how could her father treat her like this? I can't say it's pitiful, after all, she also killed someone. Um? Smokey was startled slightly and turned to look behind him. I saw that in the center of the bar, the people who got together were discussing something with each other. In the middle of the crowd, a man in a suit with bright eyes was holding a glass of wine and whispered. And since then, Sadako has become a ghost, crawling out of the well, and anyone who sees the tape will be hunted down for his life. Ghost? Moment. The people around shuddered, and combined with the previous story, they felt strangely uncomfortable. This is just a story? Isn't it true? Someone's eyelids jumped wildly. Of course it's just a story. The man in the suit smiled softly, but there was a certain deep meaning in his words. It's interesting. Smokey was surprised. After listening to the story of the man in the suit, she had to admit that it was a bizarre story. At this time, the boss came up with juice, and the man in the suit began to tell the second story. This is a story about toilets. The man in the suit raised the red wine glass and said with a smile on his face. Smokey drank the juice and listened to the story. The story this time is full of depression. The little girl learned swordsmanship since she was a child, but was bullied in the gym and suffered all the grievances. However, without any help, she was finally killed in the gym's toilet. It is said that since then, in the late night toilet, calling Hanako's name, she will appear. The man in the suit had a deep tone, and drank the red wine in the glass after telling the story. After Smokey finished listening, he drank half of the juice. She didn't like this story very much. It was too depressing. The girl who wanted to learn kendo was bullied to death in the end. However, repression is repressed. After listening to it, she will not go to her heart, like the last sentence calling Hanako's name, Hanako will appear, and she will not believe it, it is all a story. People are already dead, so how can they appear? Finish these two stories. The man in the suit seemed to want to leave. But the people around stopped him, and even the boss walked over. One more thing. Your story is so interesting, I invite you to drink. The chubby boss took the red wine bottle and filled the man in the suit with another glass. Do you still want to hear? The man in the suit was about to get up and leave, but stopped slightly when he saw it. I want to hear it. Another one. The people around were booing, expecting the man in the suit to tell another story. Well, then I will tell one more story, the last one. The man in the suit smiled and sat down again. It was a summer. A man who went out and worked hard, taking advantage of his hard time, he returned to his grandfather's home to spend the hot summer day. Everything was normal from the beginning until one day. As usual, when the man was relaxing in the corridor near the courtyard of his grandfather's house, he accidentally saw the moving sombrero from the top of the courtyard fence, and then in the gap of the fence he saw the popopo, -po -po, while wearing a sombrero and white clothes. The tall girl with a weird noise passed by. The man told his grandfather about this. The grandfather seemed to have thought of something. He was so scared that he invited a strong young man from the village to guard the door of the room, and he told the man that he should never open the door before seven o'clock in the morning after dark. During this period, no one will have a conversation with him, and you must never respond casually. The man didn't understand why his grandfather had such a big reaction, and he didn't take this matter to heart. However, someone really knocked on the door that night. The man wanted to get up but he was quickly stunned. Recalling his grandfather's words, he didn't immediately open the door, but the person who knocked on the door suddenly spoke. It was the grandfather's voice. This made the man relax his vigilance and opened the door. The next morning, when my grandfather came over, all the strong young men guarding the door disappeared, and even the men in the house disappeared. Later they discovered that the salt pile in the corner of the room turned black. This is the legend of Lord Bachiko.
It is said that Master Bachichi later appeared in other places, wandering in the sea all year round, maybe I will knock on your door tonight. The tone of the man in the suit is low and hoarse, as if with a certain magical power, which makes people have to listen carefully. Heard the last. All the people around shuddered, I don't know when they have got goosebumps on their arms. You, where did you hear this story? This is a fat man. He suddenly stood up from his seat, his whole body trembling with fat, and his expression on his face was horrified. I'm a little stuttered. These things the man in the suit said. All collided with his own experience. He saw the woman in the white sun hat and heard strange laughter. The long handed men feel like they are suffocating. Because he remembered it clearly. Last night, someone really knocked on the door, but he slept too dead and didn't open it in a daze. This story makes the surroundings explode. People's faces have changed, and many people present have encountered the same thing. It's really scary to think about it, at the same time. Smokey at the back stood up suddenly. Where did you hear this story? She looked at the man in the suit, her eyes changed. The first two stories, Smokey can be heard as stories. But in the end, the story of this eight footer is different. Before Flamp disappeared, he saw a woman in a white dress and sun hat and heard laughter. Even more frightening is that even the details are correct. After Flamp disappeared, the salt pile in the house became black as in the story. I have heard what my mother said since I was young. The man in the suit grinned and looked very sincere. This, Smokey still wanted to ask, but at this moment. The phone bug in her arms rang, it's Owen. Hey, what's the matter? Smokey frowned, gave up and continued to ask, connected to the phone bug. And after listening to Irving's words, Smokey's face suddenly changed. Owen and they found Flampe's trail. At this moment, Smokey drank half a glass of juice and left the bar hurriedly. Seeing Smokey go away. The man in the suit smiled did not stop his sight, and continued to clink glasses with the people around him. A little time. The location is slightly further away from the bar. In front of a fruit stand, several people gathered at this time, and they were vaguely communicating. There was a knock on the door last night. It was too scary. It was my wife's voice, but my wife was sleeping next to me. Yes, yes, I was knocked on the door too, shit, it was my dead father. I thought I was recently gambling and was discovered by him. He crawled out of the cemetery to teach me, so I didn't dare to open the door at all. And just when people are discussing enthusiastically, a voice suddenly sounded from behind. This is Master Bashaku. A man in a suit, who didn't know when he appeared, carrying a bottle of red wine, smiled. At the same time, Luo Wen ghost teleported to Cake Island. Impel down. I walked into the eternal hell. He is in the eternal hell room, and wants to meet the prisoners on the list who have been erased from history. The first person, under the escort of the guards, came to Kong. It was Basque Chote. Hey hey, what did you bring me here? Saying I haven't drunk for a long time, can you give me a small glass? Chout tilted his head and sat on a chair, his hands and feet caught in chains. Give him a drink. Sora looked at it, and unexpectedly, he agreed. Huh. Chout's eyes flickered. He was not stupid. He was brought here. He really wanted to drink a glass of wine and was also tempting. Now it seems. Sora is asking for himself. Soon. The guard handed Chote a glass of malt. Good wine. Chote drank it and burped comfortably, his face flushed. Sora, let's go. What are you telling me to come here for? Chote grinned, and while speaking, he buckled his hips with the back of his hands. Make a deal with you. If it succeeds, we will let you out and give you freedom. Sora spoke, took out a photo and placed it in front of Chote. In the photo, a black-haired man is smiling at the camera, sitting in the prison but he is completely unfettered and free. Um? Chote frowned. The man in the photo is so familiar to him, Luo Wen. He stared at Luo Wen's photo for a moment, then looked at Kong, and said, you want me to kill him? Not bad. Sora said bluntly, hey hey. Chote grinned when he heard Kong's words, and after a short silence, he grinned, sure enough, it's a disgusting world government, and cooperation can't be achieved to kill the other party. Finished. He raised his hand and pushed the photo on the table over. Next moment. The chain clashed, and Joey got up and left. Huh. Kong frowned slightly. He thought about Chote's rejection, but never thought he would refuse so simply. I don't want to be used as a gunman by you, and. Hiccup, kill that guy, if one is not good, I may be killed by a backhand. Joti burped, his eyes blinking. I used to be fearless in the sky, and even the fleet led by Marine Admiral dared to collide with Basque Chote. Has he fallen to this point? He doesn't even have the confidence to kill a young man? Kong squinted his eyes, his words were harsh. No, Chote grinned and laughed decisively, that guy is very weird and empty. You guys kill him so lightly. Are you a fool to be lousy? 
You don't do it yourself. Doesn't that explain the reason? Hey 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 hey. I now I'm getting more and more curious. How good Luo Wen is and how good is it? Why don't you tell me? How strong is Luo Wen, or how good is he? Hear the words. Sora was silent. He did not answer this question directly. Then. An empty wave of his hand, motioned to the guard at the door, and returned to the prison with shout. Joe, it doesn't matter if you don't agree, but you have to keep this matter secret and you can't tell anyone. I will send people wine to you on a regular basis, otherwise. You know the consequences. Sora was about to leave, said suddenly. Chout let out a weird laugh when he heard the words, and he staggered away with his alcoholic hiccups. Wait until Choat leaves. The door to the room was opened and Magellan walked in. The people on the sixth floor are not stupid. At this moment, Magellan looked ugly, and he didn't like the command task given by five elders. To cooperate with the criminals in the prison, and to release the criminals after the incident is completed, Magellan, as the director, has guarded Impel down for so many years, and instinctively doesn't like it. But this is a decision of world politics, and he cannot interfere. Commander Kong, you want me to call someone? Magellan looked at Kong, feeling helpless. Let Letterfield come over. Kong said the name after a little thought. Um? Magellan's face changed suddenly. He didn't expect Sora to name such a heavyweight name. But soon, Magellan reacted and quickly left the room, ready to take out Letterfield from the deepest part of the prison. At this moment, Magellan has understood Kong's thoughts, Luo Wen is terrible, and the methods are unpredictable. Even Shiryu is dead, and it does require a strong talent to deal with it. Watching Magellan hurried out of the room, Sora fell silent. In his mind, he thought about a person on the list, who else is suitable to deal with Luo Wen. Letterfield. Sora did have an idea, but he knew that the other party would probably not agree. If Letterfield can't do it, I'll call Katrina Demai, or some names emerged in my empty mind, suitable for people who would do Luo Wen. While thinking about it, Letterfield was bound by chains and was taken into the room by Magellan. There was no unexpected surprise. After listening to the plan, Letterfield chose to reject it on the spot, without any hesitation. I reject. Letterfield stood up, smiling gracefully, like an old gentleman, I look forward to whoever you will kill him. Finish this sentence, he turned and left. Sure enough. Kong squinted. Letterfield is such a person. He has a desire for freedom, but if the price is to make a deal with world politics, Letterfield would not be able to agree. Time is passing. Each prisoner was taken to the room, but the ending was without exception, all chose to refuse. To the end. The names on the list have all been called out. Who else are you looking for? Magellan leaned against the door, looking helpless. The prisoners of eternal hell are smarter than the other. Some people are excited to hear that they can be free, but when they hear that Luo Wen is going to be dealt with, their arrogance is dispelled. No one is a fool, who wants to be used as a gun by world politics. Of course, what is more important is that Luo Wen is too mysterious, no one dares to really confront Luo Wen. Um. Sora nodded slightly. The next moment he looked at Magellan and said his last name, Descent of the Devil, Bullet. At the same time the prison was turbulent. Ding. Kata Cooley is scared, scared point plus three. Ding. Smokey is scared, scared point plus three, ding. At this moment, Luo Wen is standing at the top of a building on Cake Island. He is like a ghost, standing silently here, the sunlight penetrates his body, and no shadow appears. People below come and go, but no one notices him, as if Luo Wen does not exist in the eyes of others. Found it. Luo Wen stared at an alley below with a smile on his face. Pause slightly. A gloomy wind blew, Luo Wen's figure disappeared. At the same time, below, in the alley that Luo Wen stared at. Smokey, Katakori, Owen and many other members of the Charlotte family who are looking for Flamp gather here. Everyone looks ugly. Flamp found it. Only. She has become fragments, lying quietly in the trash can in the depths of the alley, thick dark blood seeping through the cracks, infecting the earth. Damn it. Owen slammed a fist against the wall, a terrible fist mark appeared, and the wall collapsed directly. Kata Curry's face was also ugly. He didn't expect that the younger sister who was still smiling yesterday and asked herself to eat sweets has become this look today and was thrown in the trash can. His eyes became terrible. The white scarf spreads like an angry dragon, moving without wind. Suddenly, Kata Curry's pupils shrank. Suddenly he felt something in his heart, and he turned his head back to look at the top of a tall building. At this moment, Kata Curry vaguely sensed that someone was watching him. However, that location is empty, is it an illusion? Kata Curry frowned. At this moment, Smoggy suddenly said, interrupting his thoughts. Master Bakai. Smokey looked at Flamper in the trash can, 
his eyes changed one after another, as if he had thought of something, and whispered softly. What? Kata Curry looked over. A ghost story, the eight-foot man on the sea, the older generation seems to know. Smokey looked obscure. At the same time, Luo Wen disappeared from the roof and appeared on the edge of Cake Island for a moment. Owner. The Bachi Sama wearing a white dress in front of him bowed his head respectfully. I'm going back, I'll leave it to you here, Luo Wen said. Through Wazi and the clown, Luo Wen actually knows what happened in the prison, and even the small moves made by the five elders in the long beard he saw in his eye. Those guys on the sixth floor, who would agree to cooperate with the world politics? Luo Wen narrowed his eyes and muttered softly. Next moment. The overcast wind blows, making people feel cold in this summer. Just a blink. Luo Wen has disappeared. Impel down. Inside the cell of eternal hell Luo Wen. On the previously empty sofa, a tall figure in a suit and leather shoes appeared out of thin air. It's Luo Wen. Ha! Huh? Are you back? The eyelids of CP0 stationed at Eternal Hell twitched, and he noticed Luo Wen's return, again quietly, appearing out of thin air. Immediately, CP0 ignored Luo Wen's methods and walked quickly to the cell and said, Master Five Elders asked Mr. Luo Wen to go to a place. Where? Luo Wen sat on the sofa and turned his head to the side with a smile on his face. Fifth floor. CP0 lowered his head without touching Luo Wen's sight. Hear the words. The smile on Luo Wen's face remained unchanged, and he stepped out of the cage. At the moment of touching the iron railings of the cage, Luo Wen's body became illusory, and weirdly penetrated out of the cage. See this scene. CP0 eyelids jump wildly. He has a sense of suffocation. At the moment just now, he clearly felt Luo Wen in front of him, with an icy breath, as if standing in front of him was not a person, but a ghost. And at the next moment, puff, there was a dull and insignificant sound of cutting. CP0 was stunned for a moment. Immediately afterwards, bloodstains appeared on the neck, and a head rose into the sky. Puff through. The corpse that lost its head fell, and the dark red blood gurgled, dyeing the white suit of CP0 red and the ground red. Luo Wen did not look at the corpse at his feet. He took a step forward and wiped the non existent blood on his palm with a white handkerchief. Walking room. An illusory light screen that only Luo Wen could see appeared. Open the system store. This time, Luo Wen directly spent thousands of frightening points, all of which were converted into combat power enhancement capsules. Moment. Luo Wen's breath became terrifying, like an awakened beast, bloodthirsty and ferocious, making people shudder. Combat power. One billion. Breakthrough. One billion mark. Luo Wen's footsteps did not stop. Go straight to the fifth floor. On the other side, Buggy looked horrified and stared blankly at CP0, who fell to the ground and died. The people of the world and the world are dead. Buggy was shocked, he wanted to scream, but suddenly realized that the people around, seemed very calm. Hey hey hey, why don't you have any reaction, the people of the world politics are dead. Buggy sniffed down and looked at Choate, who was calmly drinking in the prison next door. He 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 yo t. Choate drank a glass of wine and grinned, if you die, you will die. Only one died, making a fuss. Buggy felt a little suffocated, CP0 is dead. Die in eternal hell. Or was it killed by a prisoner in eternal hell, isn't this something not worth making a fuss about? Snoring, snoring. And the sleeping prisoner heard the movement here, raised his head and took a look, then as if nothing had happened, he continued to turn over to sleep, and snored after a while. The corners of Buggy's mouth twitched. He felt that either he had a problem, or the entire eternal hell had a problem. Ma. Buggy shuddered, he must be okay. The group of people with problems are all neurotic. Buggy swallowed. He stopped yelling, but moved quietly to Jinbei and Ace. He felt that the entire eternal hell, just these two normal people could bring a little warmth to himself. Access to the fifth floor. Click, click. In the narrow and dim passage, footsteps suddenly sounded. The guard at the entrance heard the sound and quickly turned his head to look. See you. A figure in a suit walked towards him, his eyes bright, his back straight, and his feet steady. Is Luo Wen? The guard trembled. He received the above news. Luo Wen is coming to the fifth floor, he is not surprised. But the strange thing is, why is Luo Wen alone? The guard remembered that CP0 was on the sixth floor, so it was right to bring Luo Wen to the fifth floor. People. The guards are horrified. Luo Wen didn't take care of the guards, and after walking past him, he officially came to the fifth floor. Impel down the fifth floor, called Freezing Hell. As the name suggests, snow is fluttering all year round, and ice covers the surface. A little cold. 
Luo Wen braved the wind and snow and walked out of the tunnel. When speaking, all the air he exhaled in his mouth turned into white mist. Suddenly, Luo Wen's pupils moved slightly. His eyes fell directly in front of him, in the white snow. A burly figure stood still. He looked like a huge mountain, burly and firm, standing in the snow, wearing a black and white striped jersey covered with snow, his legs were submerged by snow to his knees, but he still didn't move. Bullet? Luo Wen frowned, and he recognized the person in the snow. He had an accident in his heart. He didn't expect that the world government would finally negotiate with the descendants of the devil, Bullet. The former crew member of One Piece, with terrifying armed color and conquerors, wanted to chase Rogers back all his life, but after Rogers' death, he became the devil and stirred the sea, causing a terrible catastrophe. Bullet in the heavy snow felt Luo Wen's arrival. He opened his eyes, and there was a rainbow flashing in his eyes, that's right, you're called Luo Wen, I'm cooperating with world politics, they want me to kill you, after that I can be free, but I know very well to work with them. Even if it succeeds in the end, it might not let me go. But. These are not important. I am very interested in you. The people who made the world government and naval headquarters mess up, let the old guy from Five Elders come out to see you. The only person who could do this back then was Roger. Bullet stated his purpose without hesitation. He had never thought of being able to leave the prison so easily, just for this opportunity to fight Luo Wen. Now, CP0, who was lurking in the dark, saw this scene and his expressions changed drastically. They did not expect that Bullet would simply tell Luo Wen the purpose. This is to let Luo Wen know that the world government is going to do it. Someone was angry in secret, Bullet is despising world politics. Although it is talking about cooperation, it does not put the world politics in its eyes at all. But no one is acting at this moment. Five elders gave orders in advance to let them all stand still and wait for the opportunity to solve Luo Wen at a critical moment, or to make up for Luo Wen. At the same time, the face of the jailer on the fifth floor also changed one after another. They were still shocked when they saw the appearance of Bullet, why were monsters of this level released and came to the fifth floor. But now they understand. This turned out to be an interception by the world government against Luo Wen. At the same time, what is even more shocking is that Luo Wen really walked out of the sixth floor by himself, and came to the fifth floor with such a big swing. Although the prison guards have seen in Luo Wen's materials that Luo Wen has the means to easily get in and out of the prison, but after seeing it in practice, there is still something unbelievable. It's too easy for Luo Wen to escape. The big prison they are proud of is really no different from home for Luo Wen. It makes people confused whether he is the master or they are the masters. This moment. Snow is falling. Bullet's hands were drooping, and the dark and heavy armed color instantly covered it. His eyes were sharp and he stared fiercely at Luo Wen. He wants to challenge the strong, this is the reason he survived. Boom. The surging breath burst forth wildly, like the overwhelming waves, overwhelming hundreds of meters. This is, conquerors. The incomparable hockey reserves are pouring wantonly. The heavy snow nearby was crushed and melted as soon as it came into contact with conquerors. Even the white snow accumulated on the ground was blown up by the airwaves, forming a terrible white sandstorm. Such a scene is so shocking. It is hard to imagine that the bullet, which has been imprisoned in eternal hell for such a long time, has such an astonishing hockey reserves, and now it erupts like a vast ocean, endless, endless. And just in the next second, boom, another breath appeared. Luo Wen's black hair was flying, and the terrifying airwave broke out with him as the dot, and it was covered and rolled out in an instant, and it turned out to be a terrifying storm that is not inferior to bullet. The two forces collided in midair causing a great earthquake below, and tons of white snow rushed into the sky. Conquerors. Seeing this scene in the dark, his pupils suddenly shrank. He remembered very clearly that Luo Wen's information did not say that he was a master conquerors. He really hid a lot of things. Kong stared at Luo Wen in the white snow, her eyes flickering slightly. Rumble. The collision of conquerors is still expanding, so that the airflow on the fifth layer has been turbulent, originally turning towards the heavy snow blowing east, and flying towards the west. The prisoners in the prison felt these two terrible breaths, and both stood up from the ground and looked towards the place where conquerors erupted, with shocked expressions. What happened? Two conquerors king qualification holders, how can they fight here? Too many people were horrified, and their tone became stuttered. Sudden. The two conquerors in a collision state seemed to be in a stalemate in a stalemate, and burst apart with a bang. The terrifying breath swept across the sides, showing a round shape with no dead ends, crushing through the cages. Rumbling. After the conqueror's confrontation ended, a terrifying collision appeared, as if a major earthquake broke out on the fifth floor. Magnellan, is this freezing hell's new way of torture? Is it really him? 
there is such a big fight in prison, no one comes. The prisoners who had to endure the freezing cold of freezing hell couldn't even move their bodies at this time. Even if their physical strength has been exhausted by the cold and hunger, they still have to act. Otherwise, they will be shaken to death by the fight between the two. This is the fifth floor, and none of these prisoners are weak. Conquerors knows this without shaking. And this also means that they have the foresight and understand the situation very well. If they don't go, they will die in this strong to strong collision. Stop talking. Hurry up. That's bullet. In an instant, someone shouted. Through the white snow flying in the sky, he saw two figures that were flickering and colliding, one of which was covered with dark armed colors. You can recognize this as a descendant of the devil at a glance bullet. Damn it. How come this terrible guy was released, and who was the one who beat Bullet? The prisoners scolded, they didn't know what was going on, and they ran wildly with their heads bored. Ooh well. Suddenly, the roar of the wild beast sounded, and the prisoner running in front screamed and was pounced by a wolf, biting blood on the spot. It is the unique species of freezing hell, the ice wolf. They are attracted by the movement here, and instinctively want to kill all the prisoners. Damn, rush over. A prisoner yelled, ignoring the ferocious wolves, and charged inside. If this were in peacetime, they would avoid the wolves, and their bodies would be cold and unable to support the fight. If they were confronted, they would be bitten, but it is different now. Compared to confronting these ferocious beasts, the two people behind are more terrifying. One is Bullet. And the other. Someone has already recognized it. Luo Wen. The man whispered, his expression solemn, and even a trace of jealousy. These two words are not unfamiliar to the prisoners. Recently, some guards who look strangely often mention Luo Wen's name. The initiator of the haunted prison. The mysterious prisoner on the sixth floor still gives Magellan a headache even when he enters the prison. The prisoner didn't know Luo Wen's situation, but he knew that the world government released Bullet and also made Bullet and Luo Wen fight, and until now, no guards in the prison have come forward to stop him. Among them, you know there is a problem with your ass. He has no time to think about it anymore. The wolf behind catches up. At the same time, on the other side, the very center of the battlefield. Boom. The bullet fist is like a mountain, with a single blow with great strength. In an instant, the avalanche was broken in the air, and the strong fist wind pierced through a vacuum channel, blasting towards Luo Wen. Rumbling. The ground shook on both sides. The running prisoner fell to the ground and was either chased by the wolf and bitten by the wolf, or buried by the falling snow, which was extremely tragic. And Luo Wen facing the punch of bullet head on. Do not dodge or avoid. Boom. The fifth floor freezing hell trembles. Bullet punched out, like a comet falling from the sky, the force of horror is that even a small island can be torn apart. The people who saw this scene were all shocked. The man who was thrown into the eternal hell was tortured, and he still retained such a powerful strength. It is unbelievable. And facing such a blow, Luo Wen stood still, neither dodge nor avoid. The fist wind bombed, comparable to a large typhoon, blowing Luo Wen's black hair. Moment. Fist. Boom. The earth shattering loud noise exploded, and Bullet's fist secretly rushed into Luo Wen's chest with shocking eyes. Boom. The second shock erupted, and at the moment when the pitch black iron fist penetrated Luo Wen's chest, the terrifying force wrapped around it shook out so that it formed a tornado-like strong airwave, and it penetrated hundreds of meters behind it. The heavy snow burst and splashed, like a snow-white twisted mad dragon, drowning prisoners one by one, and all the prisoners caught in it coughed up blood and died suddenly. Successful. In the dark, CP0 all opened their eyes, and they witnessed Luo Wen's chest being pierced by bullet. Such a terrifying power was replaced by an awakened zone fruit-capable person who was killed in one shot, and it was absolutely impossible to survive. Um? At the same time, Kong's eyes flickered, and he was stunned for the next second. Under everyone's attention, Luo Wen lifted his palm slightly and pressed it on Bullet's fist. In an instant, Bullet's pupils suddenly shrank. At this moment, he was hit by a group of shells fired by hundreds of large warships at the same time, coughing up blood on the spot. Rumble. His legs crossed the ground, the covered snow was broken, the crystal snowflakes mixed with blood soared, and the wine was spilled around. This moment, Bullet's eyes widened he saw clearly. Luo Wen's chest did not have any scars, not even a drop of blood flowed. What? The wind blows. Luo Wen got close to Bullet in an incredible, almost teleporting way. He raised his hand again. Align the palm of your hand with Bullet, and tighten the curved fingers. Sadako's teleportation and chanting power super ability are perfectly connected. Puff, Bullet's arm was twisted in a way that human joints could not show. Almost the entire arm was twisted and reversed by external force. 
In an instant, blood splashed, and the white stubble pierced the skin to highlight it. Moment. Bullet's right hand was completely abolished, and it fell feebly. The blood dripped on the white snow, and it was smeared quickly. Luo Wen. Bullet was shocked. Luo Wen showed ability beyond his expectations, teleporting speed, body that can't be hit, and this superpower that is impossible to defend. As expected to be the strong one I want to challenge. Bullet is excited. But at this moment, Luo Wen disappeared again. No warning. Chick one arm penetrated Bullet's body. Behind Bullet's burly body, Luo Wen appeared like a ghost, his arm was raised to penetrate Bullet's body, and blood dripped down his arm. Duh. Bullet's eyes widened suddenly, red blood appeared in his pupils, a kind of cold that seemed to frostbite the soul, spreading through the wound in Luo Wen's palm, and the power that had originally accumulated disappeared in this instant. Puff. As Luo Wen pulled out his arms, Bullet Kuiwu's body couldn't stand still anymore, and he knelt down. The blood instantly dyed red and white snow. Bullet lay down in the snow, gasping for breath. You lost. Luo Wen stood beside Bullet, his body was bathed in blood, which was Bullet's blood. Bullet, who lost a lot of blood, fell at Luo Wen's feet, trying to say something, but was so weak that he couldn't even turn over. Looking at Bullet that was weakened to the point of speechlessness. Luo Wen said softly, I will not kill you. I will stay in jail and be my neighbor, and my subordinates, and follow my instructions. Luo Wen looked at Bullet whose fingers were trembling slightly, and knelt down, don't refuse in a hurry. He attached himself, approached Bullet's ear, and said softly. You want to surpass Roger, but you can't even beat me. How to beat to defeat Roger, stay by my side, I will give you a chance to beat me, but only if you listen to me. Luo Wen patted Bullet on the shoulder, think carefully, if I don't want to, I will kill you. Get rid of this sentence. Luo Wen got up and left, stepping on the snow one after another. Bullet rolled over and lay on the ground, breathing heavily. He felt that the chill in his body that constantly swallowed his vitality disappeared after Luo Wen finished speaking. In other words, Luo Wen really kept her hands. After a moment of silence, Bullet said suddenly. Why? With your strength, I don't need me at all. Luo Wen, who had already walked for a while, didn't look back, just waved his hand. The words with a chuckle sounded. Neighbors, shouldn't they be friendly and help each other? This voice echoed in freezing hell, spreading far away. Friendship and mutual assistance? Bullet can't believe this kind of nonsense. But he didn't ask any more. When Luo Wen walked out for a while, he could no longer be seen behind him. Bullet recovered and sat up from the ground. He glanced at the wound in his chest, stood up silently, and walked back to eternal hell with his heels under the escort of the guards. The other side. Luo Wen is about to reach the entrance of the passage. Suddenly noticed something. He raised his head unhurriedly and looked at a position above the passageway. That is a hidden monitor. Now. The monitor lens rotates and expands, facing Luo Wen. See this scene. Luo Wen looked at the monitor with a fleeting smile. Next second. He retracted his gaze, stopped looking at the monitor, turned and walked into the passage, the snow on his clothes melted, and his figure was slightly submerged in the darkness. In the dark passage. No one else, the guards here have been scared away long ago. Only Luo Wen's footsteps echoed, when walking around. He was murmured in a low voice, saying something, five elders left early, but without you, kill all the people in that boat. The focus is on the old guy. Monitor the room. Sora's face changed one after another. He saw everything Luo Wen played against Bullet. Never thought that Bullet would fail so thoroughly. It can even be said to be easily defeated by Luo Wen. How did this strength catch him in the first place? Hanayabala yelled, almost breaking his voice. He remembered very clearly that when Luo Wen was arrested, it was very simple, and it was precisely because of this that Luo Wen was initially imprisoned on the second floor. He did it on purpose. Magellan was low and his face was ugly. His prison was not a prisoner at all, but a fierce ghost. Just then, Magellan saw that Luo Wen walked up to the monitor and smiled at the monitor. At that moment, Magellan's eyelids twitched, and he looked at Sora and asked, What should I do next? The plan to intercept Luo Wen has failed. And also because Bullet, Luo Wen knows that all this is pushed by the world politics. Hear the words. Sora fell silent. What Magellan thought of, he also thought of it now. Kong Weiwei turned sideways and looked at a free spot next to the monitoring room. Original. Sitting here is the Longbeard Five Elders. But not long after Luo Wen and Bullet fought. Nagabe five elders left with CP0 cronies with an ugly face, and even CP0, who was originally lurking on the fifth floor, was preparing to handle the finishing work. And this is not to leave without watching the monitoring. 
but leave impel down. Long Su Five Elders has already thought of this result, knowing that Bullet will lose with Luo Wen without any means? Do not. There may be other reasons. The empty eyes flickered, looking at the screen, and Luo Wen's fleeting smile emerged in his mind as the image that the monitor had just captured. I'm afraid Longbeard, another reason for five elders to leave. Maybe it's afraid of accidents, at the same time. In the outer waters of Impel Down, a large ship of world politics is sailing fast. The white sails were blown by the wind, the hull broke through the waves, and the speed had been increased to the fastest. Now. In the wheelhouse of the big ship, Longbeard five elders looked gloomy. He holds a small and special golden phone worm in his hand, and he is connecting with several other five elders. Failed. I am now returning to the Holy Land. Longbeard five elders said lowly to the phone worm. He did not leave to give up his plan to do Luo Wen. It's that he is worried that Luo Wen will be against him. This is ironic. Impel Down is the strongest prison in the world and the least likely to be escaped. It belongs to the world government, but he is going to leave the prison now, fearing that the man who was in the prison will take action against him and be detrimental to him. This really makes the face of five elders look ugly. It's right that you chose to leave. A deep voice came from the golden phone worm, and the blonde five elders was talking. He thought about what would be like in prison. I don't know when it started, Impel Down seems to have become Luo Wen's territory. There are dangers in Marie Joy's, let alone Impel Down. Chong Shu five elders nodded, well, we have to deal with Luo Wen. However, halfway through his words, there was a sneer on the other end of the phone worm, and the snail's head was pulled down, and it broke without warning. Um? Longbeard five elders' pupils shrank suddenly. He 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 he. A kind of utter coldness descended. The ghostly laughter sounded outside the cabin at some unknown time. Accompanied by the harsh sound of heavy objects being dragged on the ground, it was like someone was dragging something and walking through the corridor outside the cabin. What, then a shrill scream sounded. Nagabe five elders stood up from his seat in an instant. He clearly saw through the window, CP0 guarding outside the cabin, falling one after another, screaming screams one after another. The smell of blood is pungent, the ghost is coming. Nagabe five elders made this judgment instantly, block him, don't let him in. The moment the voice fell, hey hey, ghostly laughter. Suddenly it rang behind five elders, he looked back suddenly. A clown with heavy makeup and gloves, covered in blood, has stood behind him for some time. What's more frightening is, the clown is holding a thread in his hand, and he is tied to a lot of heads of death. The strong smell of blood rushes to the face. In an instant, long beard five elders hair stand upside down. He recognized the human heads pulled by the rope. It was the CP0 that followed him this time on impel down, and now they have all been killed by the clown, and the human head is dragged on the ground like a toy. Luo Wen. Long beard five elders's face was gloomy, and there was anger deep in his pupils. No, to be precise, he did not expect that Luo Wen moved so fast, even if he had left impel down early, he would still be stung by Luo Wen. Li Gui's life begins, this moment. On the Azure Sea, the ship of the world politics that had been speeding up gradually came to a halt. In the cab, screams of horror cut across the sky. Thick blood splashed all over the glass window. And through bright red and blood, vaguely visible. The old man in a suit fell. The terrible clown with a sickly smile dismembered the old man a little bit. Ding. Five elders Bruce Saint is scared, scared point plus one oh. Eternal hell. It's dark here. The sea stone gate was closed and dusted. Patter. The sound of footsteps appeared abruptly, the heavy door was clearly not pushed open, but a figure shuttled in, walking in the darkness without rush. Um? Hearing the footsteps, the prisoner in the dark looked up. It's Lua Wen. No injury. Nine tails, her pupils suddenly shrank. She was yelled over by the air, knowing that the world politics is overwhelming the plan to shoot Luo Wen. And the person who shot Dai Mei guessed that it should be the descendant of the demon ghost who made the entire sea scared back then bullet. Because. Everyone who was shouted out came back soon. Only Bullet has been out for the longest time, which means that he is likely to accept the cooperation of the world government and will intercept Luo Wen. But now, Luo Wen is back. No injuries on the body. Facing Bullet, haven't hurt. Luo Wen, what did you go out for today? In the cage, a prisoner clasped his buttocks and walked up, curiously speaking, today we eternal hell is very strange. Many people went out one after another. Luo Wen glanced at the interrogating prisoner. He did not answer. He walked to his cell unhurriedly, and penetrated in secretly. Subsequently, Luo Wen took off his suit and drew the curtain to prepare for a bath. Wow! The sound of water sounded. 
Si Luo Wen obviously didn't mean to answer. The curious prisoners in the cell looked at each other. Tisk. Those who went out today were all more vicious guys, and Luo Wen also went out, there must be some connection. The prisoner who buckled his butt grinned and guessed. Who knows what the idiots of world politics are thinking, but there must be no good intentions. The prisoner who has a grudge against world politics hummed coldly, and his voice was low. At this moment, a voice came from a cage, attracting everyone's attention. Hey, hey, it's really simple. The world politics is calling for us to go out and want to cooperate with us to kill Luo Wen. Once it succeeds, it will give us freedom. Hey, I refused in person. I'm a gunman, so go f asterisk k. Choate whispered mercilessly, picking up the bottle to pour it into his mouth, but after a long time he poured a few drops of it, Luo Wen has already returned anyway, no need to keep it secret. The words came out. All the prisoners around shake. Sure enough, the world politics has started, it's just Crocodile raised his head and looked at Luo Wen with blinking eyes. At this time, Luo Wen in the cell, after taking a shower, walked out shirtless and took a towel to wipe her hair and water droplets on her upper body. You can see from Luo Wen's strong and strong chest, there is no scar at all on his body. Hey, Luo Wen, didn't the world politics act on you? Someone yelled to Luo Wen in the dark. Now Luo Wen's appearance can't tell that there has been a fight. Could it be that all the prisoners who went out, like Chout, rejected the world politics, so the plan was not implemented? Did you not do it? No. Bullet is not there. Crocodile reacted suddenly, looking away. That was the depths of eternal hell, the pitch black that was out of sight. There is Bullet's cage. Crocodile can't remember that Bullet is back. Has Bullet hit him? Jinbei suddenly said, he also realized this, and thought of it with Crocodile. Karladar shook his head. He looked at Luo Wen, his voice was hoarse and low, this, only he knows. Facing the prisoners is questioning. Luo Wen never answered. He closed his eyes and lay on the massage chair. At this moment, a clown's laughter sounded in Luo Wen's ears. The clown was telling him something to tell Luo Wen what he had done. The massage chair vibrates and the mouth buzzes. This is a complete set of enjoyment furniture he bought. There are massage chairs, massage beds, and some relaxing objects. A set of furniture only needs a little fright, cheap and practical, and does not need to be plugged in. After a while, Luo Wen's closed eyes suddenly opened. He turned his eyes and looked in the direction of the sea. He already knows everything about the clown. Can I survive this time? Luo Wen muttered, her eyes flickering, and she was curious. The first time, Xiao Zhenzi killed the horns and beards of five elders. It didn't take long for five elders, the horns and beards, to come back to life. So can you survive this time? Luo Wen thought for a moment. He thought of something the clown said. Luo Wen feels that this time, five elders is really unlikely to survive. Just then. Rumble. There was a big movement at the entrance, the heavy door was pushed open from the outside, and the light entered the dim eternal hell. The jailer escorted Bullet into the eternal hell. Moment. In the surrounding darkness, the prisoners all looked over. At this moment, Buggy's nose was scared. It's impossible, he whispered uncontrollably. I saw it. The Bullet, who was escorted by the jailer, had blood traces all over his body, especially on his chest. The prison uniform was completely wet with blood and there was even a scary penetrating wound. Buggy knows Bullet, because he used to be on the same boat with Bullet, and both were crew members of Roger One Piece. At that time, Buggy was still an intern, but Bullet was already as powerful as Pluton Rayleigh. After so many years, Buggy will only feel that the strength of Bullet has become stronger. However now, Bullet was injured, and it was a serious injury? The two of them have already fought. Ace shot in his eyes, and murmured subconsciously. Next second. Ace suddenly looked at Luo Wen. At this moment, there was no imaginary noisy surroundings, but the audible quietness of the needle falling. Everyone looked at the cage where Luo Wen was. A short time before and after. Bullet was injured, but Luo Wen had nothing to do. What does this mean? Everyone's pupils shrank suddenly, and their pupils were quashed. Call, in the darkness, a giant figure with a height of 100 meters moved, and the terrifying body stepped forward, causing the earth to tremble. The terrible giant put his face in front of the cage, staring at Luo Wen with eyes like a lantern from a distance, and a dull voice came from his mouth. Is Bullet too weak, or he is too strong? No one answered this sentence. Because everyone has the answer in their hearts. Crossing the sea, Bullet, who has made countless people afraid of the wind, can never be the weak. The same is the depth of eternal hell's test. Letterfield glanced at the unopened bowl of instant noodles beside him. After a moment's pause, he looked at Luo Wen again. In this era, an unimaginable monster has appeared. 
He squinted his eyes, and the deep and hoarse voice echoed in UYI. The other side. Hanayabal glanced at the messy prison and smashed the trident to the ground. Quiet, quiet. He looked at the prisoners dissatisfied, and escorted Bullet to continue walking forward. Bullet has suffered a lot, and now it's difficult to walk, and the city is silent all the way. But. Just when Bullet passed by Luo Wen's cage, he stopped suddenly. This sudden change caused Hanaibao's face to change suddenly. What's wrong? Bullet is not convinced. Continue to fight. However, Bullet is very calm. He looked at Luo Wen who was massaging in the cage, his lips slightly open. I promise you. After saying this, Bullet did not stop much, and continued to move forward. What promise? Bullet, what did you say? Hanaibao frowned, he felt something was wrong. However, no matter how he asked, Bullet doesn't say a word. Luo Wen, what are you plotting? Hanaibao glared at Luo Wen. At this moment, he actually felt heart palpitations. Luo Wen's threat is too great to imagine, and now he still has a conspiracy with Bullet, is this going to overthrow him fell down? Hear what Hanaibao said. Luo Wen, who was massaging, turned his head, a smile appeared on his face. You come in, I will tell you. At this moment, Hanaibao really wanted to go in and figure out what Luo Wen and Bullet were plotting. But. He thought of Shiryu, who was cut into pieces, and Bullet who was punched through the chest by Luo Wen. The corners of Hanaibao's mouth twitched and escorted Bullet to walk forward quickly. Not long. Hanaibao returned to the cell with Bullet. He walked away quickly, and didn't want to stay longer in this eternal hell. Luo Wen's massage is almost done here. He stood up, twisted his neck, walked to the refrigerator, took out some bread, and also held a small wine barrel. Penetrate the door of the cage lightly. Luo Wen leaned on his side, walked out holding the small wine barrel, and walked in the direction of Bullet. This action. Alarmed the surrounding prisoners. They looked weirdly. Buggy reacted most excitedly and jumped from the ground all of a sudden. Oh my god. Luo Wen is heading in the direction of the big bullet. Isn't he going to cut the grass and roots to kill Bullet? Buggy threw himself in front of the cage, clutching the iron railings with both hands, and sucked his nose, just what do you bring these things to kill? Under the gaze of one after another, Luo Wen easily penetrated the cell made by Seastone. He walked up to Bullet and stopped slightly, next second. Everyone's eyes widened, unbelievable, Luo Wen. Unlocked the handcuffs for Bullet, only when. The sturdy sea stone handcuffs split in half and fell to the ground, and all the chains that bound the whole body were cut off. Since you have promised me, let's take your wounds and exercise first. Luo Wen laughed lightly, and threw away the sea stone handcuffs that were only half of his hand, and put the things that came from the refrigerator in front of Bullet, I brought you the medicine, so you can change it yourself. Hear the words. Bullet was stunned, he looked at Luo Wen in front of him. The next moment, lightly forehead, picked up the mesh belt on the ground, took off the blood-stained prison uniform jacket, and began to bandage the wound on his chest by himself. For a physique monster like Bullet, even if it is a piercing wound, it can be quickly recovered by simply treating it with medicine. Luo Wen sat on the ground beside him. He picked up the small wine barrel he brought over and gestured to Bullet with a smile. Drinking? Okay. Bullet nodded. Wait, I forgot to take the food and drink. Luo Wen suddenly thought of something and patted his head. Then. He stood up. Padded the folds of his clothes, the ghost passed through the cage invisibly, and returned on the same path. Watching Luo Wen go back, the prisoners all around looked weird. At this time, Bullet in the prison was no longer bound by the mirror cuffs, but he did not have any tendency to escape from prison. Instead, he sat in the cage, wrapped himself in bandages, and gave up such a great opportunity to escape. This scene is quite weird, but at the same time, someone thought. Bullet has not escaped from prison, most of it is related to Luo Wen. I am afraid that there is really some cooperation between the two. Luo Wen, who was looking for food in the refrigerator, had no time to worry about what other people were thinking. He let Bullet stay. One of the meanings is that if you stay in the cell for a long time, you will get bored and crooked. Took some snacks. Luo Wen walked out of the cell again. At this time, Ace in the cell opposite suddenly uttered a sound. Have you ever fought? Ace's eyes flickered. He heard his father talk about the power of Bullet. This is a terrifying powerhouse who dares to target the One Piece King Roger and challenge the highest peak. Ace is really curious about what happened between Luo Wen and Bullet. In fact, there are already some clues that can be seen, but Ace still wants to be sure. You guess. Luo Wen paused, turned his head to look, and smiled slightly. Hit. Ace didn't think much, nodded and said what was in his heart. That's right, that there is no reward. 
Luo Wen snapped his fingers and made a bingo gesture. He smiled. Instead of seeing Ace this time, he looked at Jinbei beside Ace. Would you like to have a drink together? The words came out. Jinbei hasn't reacted yet. Buggy jumped up first. I want to drink. I want. Buggy's eyes glowed. This is a good opportunity to escape. Luo Wen glanced at him and shook his head gently. You can't. Buggy was stunned and quickly said, I can do it. I have a good drinker. It used to be called 10,000 cups in West Blue. Luo Wen looked at Buggy, smiled and shook his head again. You can run, but Jinbei won't. Finish this sentence. Luo Wen didn't stay and walked towards Bullet Cell. However, he had just taken a few steps, his expression was suddenly startled, and there was a special look in his eyes. At this moment, Luo Wen's eyes looked into the distance, and the appearance of a meeting room appeared in his pupils. Does Sakai know how to deal with Sadako? In the distant direction of Luo Wen's gaze. Marie Joy. In the quiet conference room, there are five seats, each seat is located in one direction, showing the shape of a five pointed star. However, now, in these five seats, there are only four people. Now, the four five elders looked ugly. They had a conversation with the Longbeard five elders just now, but the phone was suddenly disconnected, and it seemed that there was a problem with the line. You haven't contacted yet. The blonde five elders narrowed his eyes. My lord, not yet. CP0 bowed his head respectfully. Let Sora go and see, they shouldn't have been out for a long time. Dao Pao five elders waved and ordered, Sora was still impelled down at this time, and it was the best choice to go from Sora to see the situation. Yes. Upon hearing this, the CPO immediately turned around and retire. The meeting room was quiet. The four five elders have different expressions, but they are all silent, thinking and waiting for the passage of time. The order of five elders was issued quickly and passed to impel down. I boarded the warship and set off along the route of Marie Joy's. Soon. They found a world politics ship that stopped on the sea. There, come closer. The order was categorically empty. The warship sailed quickly and steadily stopped beside the big ship, which was convenient for the board connecting the two ships to build up a temporary road. However, I found the big ship that the Longbeard Five Elders took, but Sora was not happy at all, but his face was ugly. He did not see the shadow of any CP personnel on the deck. According to common sense, it is impossible that no one is watching on the deck at this time. And. The warships leaned in this way, but no one appeared. Something is wrong. Master Bruce has an accident. The CP staff who stayed in impelled down and followed the empty hand changed a lot. Realizing this, he quickly rushed towards the cabin. Kong followed and rushed away together. What? The CP staff who entered with the front foot screamed in horror, as if they saw something extremely terrifying, incredible. Sora broke through the door, and after seeing the scene in the cabin, his face suddenly changed. Dead body. There are corpses all over the ground. Everyone in the cabin was mutilated, and the cruelty was horrible. I am afraid that the whole house will not be able to make up the whole body. What is even more frightening is that on the ground in the corner of the cabin, a head with a long white beard rolled quietly on the ground, his eyes widened, and his expression remained angry. When Sora saw this head, he only felt a chill rushing up, and a layer of goosebumps formed on the back of his hand. This is one of the five elders they were looking for, St. Bruce. Puff, puff. Suddenly, there was a vibration in the empty pocket, and the characteristic phone bug rang at this moment. Sora, how's it going? The voice on the other end of the phone worm is old and majestic, it is one of five elders. Found it, but Master Bruce was killed. The empty eyes flickered, and the voice was low, he was smashed, and his body was divided into a dozen pieces. The moment the words were spoken, boom, there was a crisp cracking sound on the other end of the phone worm. The blonde five elders crushed the teacup in his hand. I see. After more than ten seconds of silence, the low and hoarse voice of the blonde five elders came from the phone bug's mouth. Can Master Bruce still survive? Kong asked tentatively. He thought of five elders, the horns and beards that died in the hands of the female ghost in white. That time, Sora witnessed immortality and the resurrection of five elders with horns and beards. Empty, I will let someone take care of the rest. The phone worm opened his mouth, and the dull voice of the blonde five elders came out with a strange tone, with an indescribable depression. Puff. After saying this, the snail called out and retracted into its shell again. Phone worm, hung up. Sora took the hung up phone worm and fell into a long silence. The blonde five elders did not answer his question head on. But there is an answer in the hollow. This time, Longbeard Five Elders, there is no way to survive. At the same time, Marie Joy, Patter. The slag of the teacup in the hands of five elders fell to the ground. 
A CPO walked up next to him, wiped his palms and swept away the ceramic shards on the floor. When CP0 walked out of the meeting room, only four of them were left. The blonde five elders propped his forehead with one hand, and said in a low voice, St. Bruce is dead. At this moment, the faces of the four five elders were hard to see the extreme. Their eyes, Ruoyuawu, looked at the vacant seat among the five seats. From today, this seat will be vacant forever. Longbeard five elders is dead, death in the true sense. Their immortality is not true immortality, it is true that they can live forever, and they can be resurrected from death, but there is only one shortcoming. At the time of death, the body cannot be too mutilated. Once incomplete to a certain extent, even immortality will be invalidated, and death in the true sense is the same as Bruce Saint. Luo Wen knows our secret. Dao Pao five elders narrowed his eyes, the lens reflected the cold light. I don't know, but that clown likes to mutilate people. The flat hat five elders coldly face, holding a cane, gently swiping, rubbing the ground with a harsh sound. This is also one of the reasons why the Longsu five elders will leave the holy place for the first time and go to impel down to negotiate with Luo Wen in person. Clown ghost. In a sense, it is more important than the female ghost in white in the holy land. This is true for five elders, because the hobby of the clown ghost is dismemberment, which is different from the female ghost in white. If you die in the hands of the female ghost in white, you will have a chance to be resurrected. But the clown is afraid that it will only become a pile of minced meat. Stare. At this moment, CP0, who had already exited, walked in again. This time, he brought someone in. People are here. The CPO nodded respectfully, sent the people it brought to five elders, and bowed back. I have seen a few adults. The person who was brought in had a hairstyle like horns, and his complexion was calm and serious, and he bowed and saluted to five elders for the first time. Bluno, you should understand what you are going to do. Blonde five elders looked up. Yes, my lord. The man with the horn like hairstyle nodded. Good. He is the former CP9 team member Bluno. Bluno now knows exactly what he is going to do, because he and Lu Chi are both wanted by the world government because of the mistakes committed in the city of Seven Waters. Those days were bleak, but recently there has been a turning point, and they have a chance to commit crimes. If this thing is done well, they can not only return to world politics, but also have the opportunity to become CP0. And there is only one purpose, imprison the ghost. Take advantage of Bluno's doorfruits, and at this moment, two figures appeared again, they walked in through the door of the conference room. The headed man has short blonde hair, looks left and right when he walks in, has an open smile at the corner of his mouth, and has a natural scorn between his eyebrows. Beside him, following a cute little girl with short green hair, holding fresh grapes into her mouth while walking. After knowing the appearance of these two people, Bluno's heart was shocked. How come Doflamingo, one of the seven warlords of the sea? And the little girl next to him, Blue No, frowned slightly, he didn't recognize who this girl was. B Shao 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 Duo, what happened to Marie Joyce recently? I saw a lot of celestial dragons have left. Could it be that the holy land is so hard to stay? I had to move out like my trash dad. Doflamingo swept around. In the meeting room, he finally looked at a few five elders and joked with a grin. Although he is joking, there are fluctuations in his heart. The root cause of Marie Joy's celestial dragon's evacuation, Doflamingo was informed before this trip. This reason is so absurd that Marie Joy's is haunting. The power of tongue, you should know that it will not do you any good, dress Rosa. We have one eye closed to you. Five elders in the flat hat looked at it, and the cane lightly hit the ground with a dull sound. He is five elders, and he is also the true helm behind the Don G. Rivered family. Of course, this family does not refer to the Don Quixote family of Doflamingo, but the celestial dragons surnamed Don Quixote in the entire Holy Land. Many people in the dark underground world know that there is celestial dragon support behind Doflamingo, which is not a secret. There are celestial dragons behind many underground kings in the world and they are controlling some things in secret. The reason why Celestial Dragon's wealth is inexhaustible is that they, the kings of the Dark World, are paying tribute to Celestial Dragons, and Celestial Dragon's heavenly gold is one of them. And behind Doflamingo, there is a rumor that it is said that there are many Celestial Dragons supported, and the Flat Hat Five Elders is one of them, and the largest one. If you can help us this time, maybe we can't help you restore the identity of Celestial Dragons. The Flat Hat Five Elders whispered, and his old eyes watched Doflamingo quietly. Buddha howl. Doflamingo grinned when he heard the words. In fact, from the bottom of my heart, I can't help but curse these four old guys secretly. He can have today's achievements, not only on strength, if he had been played to death without his brain, these high-powered old guys, just listen to half and believe half. 
Of course, Da Flamingo did not show all these psychological changes. On the surface, he was calm and smiling. Next moment. Da Flamingo converged his thoughts, looked at the Flat Hat Five Elders, and alerted the CP0 around his eyes, I have become accustomed to freedom. I don't care if I can regain the identity of celestial dragons. I think the four five elders should understand that I am the best. What I want to know is how you plan to deal with haunting, I want to know the specific way to deal with it, and I want to confirm that my family will not have it. Thing. Said this sentence. Da Flamingo patted the sugar on the head lightly. This time five elders called him over, just saying that he would use the power of sugar to solve the haunting, but it didn't mention how to do it. At the same time, Da Flamingo also has other ideas. Recovering the identity of celestial dragons sounds very light, but this is not so easy. He does not care about the identity of celestial dragons, but if he has the opportunity to have it, he will definitely get it. But at the same time, Da Flamingo also understands that having such a big advantage can only show that there is a greater risk, so he asked for a detailed plan. Hear the words. Horns and beards five elders raised their hands. A CP0 wearing a white suit stood up. He is the highest level person in charge of CP0 and one of the important participants in the formulation of this plan. The person in charge of CP0 first looked at Da Flamingo, and then at Sugar, the fruit of childlikeness, touch people and sign contracts, let people and animals become toys, ignoring all common sense, the ability of the same rules, this is the key to our catching ghosts, we let the fruit of childlikeness control the ghost, and then the fruit of blue no to imprison the female ghost. If you are not at ease, you can also protect the childlike fruit ability yourself. At the end, the person in charge of CP0 continued to explain. Catch ghosts, childlike fruits are the most important point, and in order to ensure success, world government has also prepared other things, this is the way to solve the haunting. After explaining, the head of CPO looked at the closed door behind him. Bring in the fruit. The voice fell. The door was pushed open, and a CP officer walked in, holding a small box in his hand, which contained a pineapple-shaped devil fruit. My lord, we also found the fruit of silence. The CP0 person in charge bent over and looked at five elders respectfully. This is the plan he made. Use the fruit of silence to isolate the sound, let the sugar in the isolation circle, silently approach the ghost, touch the ghost with your hand, sign a contract to restrain the ghost at the moment, and then use the power of the door fruit to imprison the ghost. During this process, there will be powerful people who will help sugar to accurately touch the female ghost. You did a good job. The blonde five elders looked, staring at the fruit of silence for a moment, and then nodded slightly. We spent three days and three nights searching for this fruit, investing a total of 500 elite CP agents, costing Bailey 500 million. The CP0 person in charge said the price. Da Flamingo, who was next to him, changed his face suddenly after hearing the detailed plan. This fruit is no stranger to him. It was the fruit that his younger brother had, and the quiet fruit that he killed by himself. Have you arranged for the fruit eaters? Daozhao five elders pushed the glasses on the bridge of the nose slightly. Yes, my lord. The person in charge of CP0 nodded, and then he looked out the door, a woman CP0 wearing a mask was instructed to walk into the meeting room. She is the one who wants to eat the fruits of silence. What is the success rate of catching ghosts? Five elders with horns and beards was low, and if anyone in the room wanted to catch the most, it must be him. Because he has already died in the hands of a white ghost woman once. 80%. The person in charge of CP0 bowed his head and apologized, it can't be more than 90%, it's my negligence. At the same time, he said that the way to prevent Sadako had been found. That is, people who have watched the videotape, as long as they show the videotape to others, they can prevent being found and let the ghost find the next target. This is a strange rule. Several five elders heard this, they looked at each other thoughtfully. They are not incapable of dealing with ghosts. They have been researching ways to crack the female ghost in white, but they have got a powerless fact, that is, the ghost can't be killed anyway. This reality is desperate, but they are also looking for other solutions. During this period of time, five elders didn't do anything. They even asked Vegapunk to study ghosts. If it weren't for fear that the videotape would kill Vegapunk, they even wanted Vegapunk to study the videotape themselves. And now that they spent so much manpower and material resources, they finally found a way. Is the videotape in your hands? The blonde five elders suddenly looked at Blue No. Hear the words. Bluno nodded, and CP0 brought the video to him on the way. Let's act at night. The blonde five elders nodded and waved to give orders. Soon, the plan was finalized, and the three of Da Flamingo, Sugar, and Blue No left the meeting room and went to prepare separately. Wait until the meeting room is deserted. The blonde five elders paused briefly and looked at the person in charge of CP0, 
go to the calm belt where Impel Down is located, and bring the body of St. Bruce back for a good burial. This is. When the person in charge of CP0 heard this sentence, his eyes widened suddenly, and he only felt that the hairs were upside down. Originally, he wanted to say whether he would be too anxious to implement it tonight, and planned to check the approval again. But now he can't say this sentence, because the person in charge of CP0 already knows why Lord Five Elders plans to execute the plan so soon. The root cause is that an adult Five Elders died. The person in charge of CP0 has a huge wave rolling in his heart, his face under the mask is pale, and his expression is shocked and sluggish. Inside eternal hell. Ding. CP0 person in charge Christ is scared, scared point plus three. Ding. Five elders able saint is scared, scared point plus five. Ding. Five elders, a series of system prompts resounded in my ears. Luo Wen squinted his eyes slightly, and he understood in his heart why these worldly political people would be frightened. They were discussing and eagerly looking for a way, which showed that they were uneasy. This anxiety forced them to act, and even Doflamingo was found. At the same time, these people thought that they were going to face Xiao Junji soon, which also scared them and provided him with a lot of frightening points. Have you found the pattern? Luo Wen fell into deep thought, and world politics discovered the pattern of the videotape. At this point, he saw the content of the meeting through the black fingerprints on five elders' horns and beards. Sadako is indeed a rule-based ghost, killing people by rules, and at the same time this rule can also be cracked. And now, through the death of people again and again, the world government has found a way to crack Sadako's killing rules. Go chasing and killing the next person who has watched the video. In fact, Luo Wen is no exception, he has long thought that world politics can discover the law of killing. The world politics that has stood the world for 800 years, if it really doesn't know anything or can't deal with anything, it's a real waste. A behemoth that governs such a large area of the world must have many people with the ability and means in it, not to mention that there are some strange fruits in this world. Think of fruit Luo Wen's eyes flickered. At this moment, he gave Dajenko an order in his heart. Let Osadako bring back a book of devil fruit from naval headquarters. Yes, Master, Da Sadako stood silently in the dark corner of the headquarters building, no one noticed her existence, ghostly and horrible. After receiving Luo Wen's order, she turned around silently, walked into Sengoku's unmanned office for dinner, and took a book from her desk. What are you thinking? At this time, Bullet suddenly opened his mouth, he bandaged the wounds on his chest and arms. He saw Luo Wen walk in and put down the wine. After setting up the wine and food, he did not speak, his expression seemed to be thinking about something. I'm thinking about how powerful the world politics is. Luo Wen narrowed his eyes and said softly. Hear the words. Bullet was slightly startled. He didn't understand why Luo Wen thought so, but after hearing these words, he paused for a few seconds before speaking in a low voice. It's amazing. These three words are Bullet's evaluation of world politics. Luo Wen nodded, it's really amazing. 800 years of misbehavior hasn't died yet. Talking. He looked at the sixth floor. In the eternal hell, many of the most evil prisoners whose history was erased were enemies of the world politics, and they all ended up in prison. Can you say that these prisoners are not good? I am afraid that except for Buggy's accident, anyone who is released can reach the level of slaughtering the country. But they fought against the world politics, and in the end there was only one result, and that was defeat and imprisoned in this dark prison. Healing teeth are slowly revealed. Luo Wen retracted his gaze and murmured softly. The horror of world politics that has ruled the world for so many years may be revealed from now on. What? Bullet didn't understand Luo Wen's thoughtless sentence. Luo Wen smiled. He didn't answer, but picked up the small wine barrel to pour the wine. This is good wine. The specialty of Charlotte Linlin's good wine cannot be drunk in prison. Xiao Junji, hide away tonight, don't move without my order. Luo Wen said to Xiao Junji who was far away in Marie Joy's while pouring the wine. He has not contemptuous of world politics, otherwise he would not always monitor world politics. Luo Wen didn't think he was an invincible traverser from the sky to the earth, he only felt that he was a lucky traverser. The world government found a way to deal with Zhenzi. Luo Wen was not surprised at all. Instead, he was calm. He was always thinking about a solution. The soldiers came to cover the water. Converge your thoughts. Luo Wen raised the full wine glass and clinked it gently with Bullet. Drinking fragrant wine, chatting with Bullet about some secrets of the sea in the Roger era, Luo Wen is also quietly waiting for Da Zenzi to bring Devil Fruit Illustration Book. After a while, Luo Wen's body suddenly became gloomy and dark, a pale and cyan female arm stretched out, and a heavy book was put down in a gloomy atmosphere. 
The cover of the book is old, with a mark representing Marine in the lower right corner. Good job, my ex-girlfriend. Luo Wen smiled and praised, holding up the book on the floor. This moment. Bullet eyelids jump wildly. He knows about being haunted, but it is the first time to see it so close. What's more important is that the ex-girlfriend that Luo Wen said is really infiltrating. A dead person has turned into a ghost and stayed by Luo Wen's side? Luo Wen glanced at Bullet, shook the book in his hand, and smiled on his face, is it shocked? The book in my hand is the devil fruit picture book in the Sengoku office. The corner of Bullet's mouth twitched, is this what shocked me? Luo Wen looked at the small expression on Bullet's face, chuckled and shook his head. Instead of teasing, he opened the picture book and looked through it. Childlike fruit. Door door fruit. The fruit of silence. Luo Wen looked at them one by one. It turned out to be like this, Luo Wen blinked in her eyes and muttered to herself in a low voice. Those with childlike fruit ability, if they come into contact with Xiao Junji, it is indeed possible to affect Xiao Junji. Xiao Junji is a rule, and the same childlike fruit is also a rule. Let Luo Wen say that the most terrifying fruit in the pirate world, the childlike fruit will be particularly high in his mind. All the creatures touched by the childlike fruit ability will completely disappear from the world, and a contract can be made so that they cannot act freely according to their thoughts and obey orders. Because this fruit really affects the rules and even the memory of people all over the world, this is too exaggerated. It can be said that Xiao Junji and childlike fruit are the collision of two rules. Xiao Zhenzi may not be signed into a contract, but it is very likely to be affected by this ability, causing short term flaws. At this moment, using the power of the door fruit to seal Xiao Junji and imprison it, and then close the space, Xiao Junji may really not be able to get out. Especially for all of this, there is also the fruit of silence as an aid to increase the probability of success. This method can indeed deal with Xiao Junji, Luo Wen muttered to herself. At the same time, he quickly thought of some solutions. For example, the way to treat the symptoms is that Luo Wen has already known the plan in advance, and just needs to kill all the childlike fruit ability, the door fruit ability, and the silent fruit ability before they execute the plan. However, this does not cure the root cause, because after the person with fruit ability dies, new fruits will be formed, and the plan can continue to be carried out after finding someone to eat it. Then the cure for the root cause is naturally to kill people and take away the fruits, so that the world's politics will not be regained. Only. Demon fruit power, after death, the devil fruit even will immediately appear on the continent within a certain range, and a certain fruit will suddenly become devil fruit. This range is uncertain, and it would be a bit cumbersome to find it. However, after this, Luo Wen thought of many solutions. He opened the system store and planned to buy something. Perhaps, in the distance of the mall, there will be something that can solve the plan of this world politics. Host. Luo Wen, Combat Power, 1 billion 10 million. Ghost. Sadako Dakota, Hanako Toilet, Clown, Master Bashiku. Scare Point. 1921 Looking at the Scared Point approaching 2000. Luo Wen did not rush to exchange things. Instead, I decided to smoke a ghost first. He hasn't smoked ghosts in a while. Ding. Consumption of scare points, draw. Ding. Host gets the ghost a ghost nun, ghost nun. One of the demons in the soul calling universe. The devil sealed in the gate of hell in the monastery, possessing the ability to possess and possessing powerful evil powers, came to the world again with the weakening of the seal of the gate of hell, and eroded the resident monastery nun. Now it appears on this blue sea. Luo Wen was startled slightly, he didn't expect to get this. This is a very interesting ghost. Ding, draw ghost nuns, additional rewards to the monastery. The beep sounded abruptly. Fantasy appeared before Luo Wen's eyes. It was a monastery, old and dilapidated. The walls and steps were covered with moss. Through the gate, only deep darkness could be seen, like a bottomless abyss that swallowed people's hearts. And beside the monastery, there is a gloomy cemetery. The ground is full of crosses for warding off evil spirits. Each tomb is hung with a bell, linked together, and it sounds gently when the wind blows. It is said that this was for someone who was buried alive and was able to shake the bell in the coffin for help. I gave it to the ghost this time, and also gave it to the monastery. Luo Wen raised his eyebrows slightly, and felt surprised in his heart. This is indeed a very special ghost. Luo Wen squinted his eyes, and the memory of the ghost nun appeared in his memory. Rumor has it that in a long time, Priests in the monastery performed evil rituals and summoned demons from hell. However, halfway through the ceremony, the crusaders broke in and killed the priests, breaking the evil rituals and sealing the demons again. But then the world war broke out. The repeated fire of resentment loosened the seal, giving the demon ghost nun a chance to reappear in the world. It possessed and killed the nuns in the monastery, 
assimilating them into evil spirits, and every time a person was killed, the power of the ghost nun became stronger. Now, the monastery eroded by the devil and the evil and terrifying ghost nuns have come to this blue sea. The level of this ghost is considered to be the highest dangerous level of my ghost now, Luo Wen muttered in his heart. The power of ghost nuns is like a virus, which can spread quickly, possessing a person, turning them into 800 evil ghosts, and the power of ghost nuns will become stronger every time it spreads. Really speaking, the scope and speed of killing can be said to be the biggest, fastest and most dangerous ghost among the ghosts Luo Wen currently has. Moreover, the ghost nun's ability is not just about possessing, and needless to say that basic teleportation and mind control generate illusions. In the film, the ghost nun also showed the ability to summon lightning, the ability to bounce people up several meters with the power of thought, and also to enslave other ghosts. More importantly, it is one of the 72 demon pillars of hell. Obviously. Luo Wen's expression was stunned, and he said to himself, this ghost is a devil. It exists in hell. It does not exist in this world and has no substance. What are you laughing at? Suddenly, the sound of bullet sounded, interrupting Luo Wen's thoughts. Luo Wen condensed his thoughts and looked at Bullet, am I smiling? Bullet pointed to Luo Wen's unconsciously raised corner of his mouth, you seem to have some happy things, but I am surprised, what are you happy about? Not waiting for Luo Wen to answer. There was a voice from the cell next door, and there was the sound of the chain shaking at the same time, Luo Wen is a weird person, but to be sure, Luo Wen must have thought of something messing up, right? You guy the first always find it annoying to look at it. I hate contact with smart people. Old Mr. Rachel is really good at seeing people, and you are also a smart person. Luo Wen smiled and looked towards the cell next door. This is the ruthless man who once wiped out three branches and one country of New World Marine. It is said that the reason at the time was that he was unhappy with a certain Marine in the branch. Come on, if I was smart, I wouldn't be in this broken place. I was calculated to let Sengoku take the opportunity. The prisoner in the next cell snorted coldly, as if laughing at himself. After saying this, he fell into a long silence, no more sound. Luo Wen chuckled, and did not refute this sentence. But he knew in his heart that the person who could be held in the cage next to Bullet was not a waste. Converge your thoughts. Luo Wen filled himself and Bullet with a glass of wine. You said that when a monastery suddenly appeared in the holy land Maranjoya, how would the celestial dragons react? He drank the wine in his glass and suddenly opened his mouth to Bullet, his eyes bright. Hear the words. Bullet froze. Time passed, it was a week later. Holy land, Marie Joys. The time of the week is very stable. Five elders gradually felt relieved, and the haunts in the holy land were being effectively controlled. On the night they were preparing to deal with the female ghost in white, the female ghost in white disappeared. It never appeared in any corner of the holy land again, and this disappearance lasted for a whole week. Within this week, the other resurrected celestial dragons' ghosts in the Holy Land were eliminated, which gave the Holy Land peace for a long time. Celestial dragons, who had been panicking in the Holy Land all day long, calmed down, feeling that the normal life was finally returning. And those celestial dragons who left learned about the situation of the Holy Land, and some celestial dragons returned. After all, no matter how good the outside world is, it is not as convenient as Marie Joy's. If it is not a special situation, no celestial dragons are willing to leave the holy land. Now. Right within. The four five elders sat on the sofa, each looked different, but they all exuded the strong temperament of the superior. That female ghost sensed that we were about to act on her, so there was no movement. Daozhao five elders took a sip of the teacup, the steam evaporating and the white mist rolled, his expression indifferent. Although she was not able to catch her, this situation just shows that our method is correct, and it does have some effect on her. Even if she can't be detained, there will definitely be restrictions, otherwise she will not appear. We have checks and balances. Her way. Five elders with a flat hat sat on the sofa, leaning forward, putting his hands together and propping a wooden staff. Hear the words. Several five elders present nodded. All the handprints are also gone. Our method may be more effective than we thought. Five elders with horns and beards lifted the sleeves of the suit and saw that the ghost handprints on the arm had disappeared. At this moment, he finally breathed a sigh of relief, and the stone hanging in his heart was put down. Not only five elders with horns and beards, but several other five elders are quietly relieved. There is no doubt that this is good news. It seems. Ghosts are not omnipotent. They have found a way to deal with it. Although it is a little troublesome, it is not important. They are not afraid of trouble. There are enough manpower in the holy land. St. Bruce's funeral. What do you plan to do? Cap five elders said suddenly. It's time to go on. We've put it on hold for several days. 
The blonde five elders stood up, walked to the window, and looked towards a position. It was a one-story house, and the body of five elders was placed in the hall. His body was returned to the Holy Land a week ago. However, the haunting was not resolved, and no one dared to rush to organize the funeral. The tragic situation of the funeral of St. Charles Rose was still vivid, and it almost turned the holy place into a ghost land, and a dozen or twenty celestial dragons died at once. It just so happens that all the celestial dragons who left are back now, Dao Pao five elders sighed insignificantly. Look at the vacant position. Longbeard five elders is dead forever. The only good news is that now the haunting has been resolved, celestial dragons are coming back one after another, and the scale of the funeral can be increased. After all, no one wants his funeral to be ignored. It will be held in two days, the blonde five elders said, making a decision for this matter. Two days later, the sky is gloomy and deep. Marie Joy started to rain lightly in Zhejiang province. At this time, in the cemetery, the crowd was crowded, and many celestial dragons wore black clothes and walked out of the cemetery one after another. This is the highest scale cemetery of Marie Joy's, and the burials are all high ranking figures in the past. The Longbeard Five Elders is buried here. His tomb is located in the center of the best feng shui, and it is covered with white flowers. The funeral is over. After participating in the celestial dragons, each returned home. There are some celestial dragons who are not sure to return, but just attended the funeral. Now they are also going to leave Marie Joy's and stay outside for a few days to see the situation. All the videotapes have been destroyed, and it seems that the holy place is finally safe. Yes, I'm not used to living outside during this time. Although the Golden City is not bad, it is still not more comfortable than the Holy Land. That's right, I can finally go home. Celestial dragons talked, gradually dispersed and left the cemetery. At this moment, only a few five elders remained in the cemetery. They stood in front of the tomb of five elders and looked at the lettering on the tombstone, everyone looked complicated. There is anger, there is loneliness, and there is also horror. The five elders who ruled the world with them for so many years died like this. Now lying in the cold cemetery, immortality has become a joke. Let's go. The blonde five elders spoke first and broke the silence. Finally, he glanced at the grave. They reduced the expressions on their faces, turned and left. After five elders left, the cemetery of Norwegian University finally became completely quiet. The light rain in the sky is still falling. The sky is getting darker. Tick, tick. The raindrops fell on the leaves, gathered into large crystal clear water droplets, and hit the ground heavily. At the moment when the splash burst, a figure appeared out of thin air. He stood quietly under the tree, like a ghost, silently, watching the celestial dragons leave one after another. As far as the line of sight, the celestial dragons can no longer be seen behind. He took a step forward. The boots stepped through the puddles on the ground and walked towards the grave of five elders. Da da ye the dull footsteps echoed faintly in the cemetery. He stopped in front of the tomb of five elders in Longbeards, raised his palm, and placed it gently on the tombstone. After the first seven, it's time to become a ghost. A warm and deep noise sounded. At the same time, a gloomy ghost aura emerged, and instantly enveloped the entire tomb. Flavor rub. The mound cracked, and Renly's tombstone broke in half and fell down. A ghastly figure, covered in a horrible ghostly atmosphere, sat up slowly and stiffly from the cracked tomb. He has five elders. No, to be precise, it is the long beard that has turned into a lonely ghost, five elders. At this time, the ghost's eyes widened and his expression was angry. There were stitch-like traces all over his body, like broken corpses being spliced. Together bit by bit, making people horrified at first glance. Next moment. The dark clouds in the sky were broken by the sun, the rain stopped, and wisps of sunlight shone down. The man was bathed in the sun because the dark clouds in the sky had not completely dissipated, the graveyard in front of him was still dim, forming a strong contrast between light and darkness. In the sun with a smile on his face, he turned his eyes to look outside the cemetery, where five elders and others had left, the holy land is haunted, the new round of haunting, I myself look forward to it. The deep and magnetic voice has not yet fallen. The figure has disappeared. Only the voice echoed faintly. After the man disappeared, the ghost of five elders with long beard crawling out of the grave, Ren stood in place with a dull expression. When the dark clouds in the sky are about to dissipate completely, the ghost turned stiffly and approached the depths of the cemetery, seeming to be waiting for the night. The rain stopped. After a short period of light, the sun set to the west and the sky gradually dimmed again. Dusk is here, in Marie Joyce's position on the outskirts. This is a bungalow surrounded by mountains and the sea. It is the residence of Don Quixote family, Don Quixote Muse Garoud, 
the higher ranking celestial dragons. At this time, the servant is carefully sorting the flowers and plants in the woods. Muse Garrett has a hobby on weekdays, he likes to have afternoon tea in the woods, therefore, he has servants to trim flowers and grass every day, so that this nobleman can have a good experience during afternoon tea. Flavor Rub The servant built a shrub with scattered branches into a standard circle. He knelt down and picked up the branches that fell on the ground. And at this moment, the servant's movement paused, and his outstretched hand stiffened in the air. He immediately stood up and looked in the direction of the deep forest. At this glance, the servant was stunned, and his face became strange. When he bent down just now, he had a startled glance, as if he saw a monastery in the forest. But when I really raised my head and looked at it, I saw nothing. What's the matter? The servant looked weird, scratched the back of his head, and bent down again to pick up the fallen branches. This time, nothing unusual appeared. The servant raised his head, glanced at the darkening sky, packed up the trimming tools, and prepared to leave. But he had just walked out of it two steps. I don't know if the ghost has lost his mind. He turned his head subconsciously and glanced behind him. This time, the servant was terrified and screamed in horror. The monastery has appeared again, not in the distant mountains and forests, but in a position less than 100 meters behind him. The door of the ancient house squeaked open, and the darkness inside was suppressed to the extreme, like a demon in the abyss opened his mouth and wanted to swallow the servant in one bite. What? A panicked cry sounded, only when. The shears for trimming the trees fell to the ground. Scattered branches of wine fell on the ground. The servant lost all these things and ran away. At the same time, Saint Garrett, the muse who had just eaten dinner, was standing on the open air balcony on the roof of his house, enjoying the evening breeze. His house is very big. In addition to being surrounded by mountains and overseas, he also built a large garden in the courtyard. Saint Muse Garoud just likes flowers and plants. Saint Muse Garoud enjoying the cool evening breeze, he sighed sincerely, Tenton is really not angry today. However, the next second, his voice stopped abruptly. Blinked incredulously. I saw it. In his garden, an old monastery appeared at some point in time. The whole monastery was exuding an unknown atmosphere, and moss covered the walls and steps. Saint Muse Garrod rubbed his eyes vigorously again. However, the monastery is still there, a terrifying change appeared in the next second. The gate of the monastery was opened little by little, and red blood suddenly flowed from the crack of the door, drop by drop, flowing down the steps. What is this? Saint Muse Garrod backed in horror and almost fell to the ground. My lord, I will check it out now. CP0, who was guarding Saint Muse Garrod, jumped directly from the outdoor balcony. The weird scene appeared again, when the CPO rushed to find out. The monastery is gone. St. Muse Garrod's expression changed drastically, and his nose was running down. Here again, this is a ghost. It must be a ghost. He was terrified. Originally, he was the group of celestial dragons who left the Holy Land, because the Holy Land had recently disappeared and he took the opportunity of this funeral to return to the Holy Land. As a result, I didn't even spend my first night when I came back and saw such a terrifying scene. No, I have to go, I have to leave the Holy Land rules. Muse Garrod's face twitched, he was not afraid at first, but the scene before him awakened the fear he once felt about the ghost in white, and the shadow of terror was once again shrouded. At this moment, Saint Muse Garrod is trembling all over. The night the monastery appeared, within the right period, the four five elders held an emergency meeting overnight. Now, all five elders present had a sullen face, not a single good face. I thought that the haunting was over, but now there is a new horror. An old monastery appeared in the holy place inexplicably, just like a fantasy sea city floor, which can disappear at any time, but it brings unparalleled fear and oppression to people. Are the hands and feet of the ghost in white? Dao Pao five elders took a deep breath and pushed the frame on the bridge of the nose. I don't know, but this is inseparable from the man on the sixth floor. The blonde five elders was low, and he instinctively felt that the moment he saw the monastery, he thought of the man who made the death of Bruce Saint the female ghost, boyfriend. This kind of supernatural means, looking at the world, I am afraid that only Luo Wen has it. And at the same moment, rumble, a terrible movement appeared, and in the garden outside the right, there was a sudden loud tremor, as if a demon was awakening here, making a breathtaking roar. Um? In an instant, the expressions of the four five elders suddenly changed, all stood up and looked at the garden. Through the window, you can clearly see that an ancient monastery appeared out of thin air, standing in the middle of the garden. At the same time, the white jade floor in the garden became Wangshi. It was a ghastly cemetery. When the wind blew slightly, the bells tied to the tombstone shook crisply, 
as if someone were shaking the bells in a coffin, making it creepy. Let me see. The blue eyes of the blonde five elders narrowed. I just said that the monastery is haunted, and now the monastery is in front of them. Choose the elite to check in. This incident must be resolved as soon as possible. Dao Pao five elders gently stroked the famous knife on his waist, and he felt the unidentified breath of the monastery. Same time. After giving the instructions, they got up, walked out of the right space, wanted to go far away, and didn't want to approach the monastery. Soon. Five elders' orders were issued layer by layer, and a group of elite CP zeros assembled and quickly rushed to the monastery in the dark. This is the white crab, who has arrived at the gate of the monastery, ready to enter the internal investigation. The captain of CP-0800 in this operation stood in front of the steps of the monastery, holding a special communication phone worm in his hand, speaking very quickly. Received, continue to follow up. The liaison at the other end of the phone worm responded quickly. This action will be conveyed to five elders as soon as possible. They attach great importance to the monastery. The CP-0 team leader took a deep breath, temporarily put the communication phone worm in his shirt pocket, raised his head and looked at the monastery close at hand. The monastery was shrouded in night and seemed to be in disrepair for a long time. The walls and steps were covered with moss. At this time, the gate was half hidden, leaving a gap. The CP0 team leader opened his eyes wide, but only the deep darkness could be seen through the gap. Go in. He was a little ambitious. In the cemetery behind the monastery, the bells seemed to be shaking more violently, and they could hear the crisp sound at the door, as if something really wanted to crawl out of the cemetery. Da da. The CP0 team leader resisted the horror in his heart, opened the door and advanced to the monastery. Other personnel followed closely and walked in one after another. Only. The moment they all entered, the door behind them closed without warning. At this moment, everyone was stunned and turned their heads subconsciously, losing the moonlight that penetrated through the door, and the monastery became completely dark. Chi Chi. Creepy things appeared one after another. The CP0 team leader found that there was a problem with the phone worm contacted by his headquarters. I don't know when the call has been interrupted. Go out. Someone was sweating, and he felt that he had entered not a monastery, but a haunted house. No, you can't go out. You must investigate clearly. The CP0 team leader has an ugly face, and he also wants to go out, but the order to investigate the monastery this time was issued by five elders himself. If they go out like this, they must be punished. What's in front of me, seems to be a nun. Suddenly, the CP player in front yelled. He pointed to a certain direction in the dark, and at the moment he saw a figure swaying past. Go. Go over and take a look. CP0 team leader said after hesitating. Their task is to explore the monastery. Gang? Suddenly appears in a figure, it is impossible not to investigate. Following the direction where the figure disappeared, the CP0 team was vigilant all the way, but apart from the darkness, no other abnormalities appeared. Intel. They entered a side room, um? As soon as he entered this room, the CP0 team leader's eyelids jumped fiercely. See you. A solemn cross hung on the wall of the room. A group of black nuns turned their backs to them, kneeling on the ground and praying to the cross religiously. Their voices were very soft, and they seemed to be chanting some scripture. The CP0 team leader feels something wrong instinctively. In such a weird monastery, there are still nuns praying, which is absolutely not right. Moment. The nun who was praying seemed to feel the people coming from behind. After all, she turned her head back together, her bloody faces turned towards the crowd, her hollow and pitch black eyes were still bleeding. What? Someone was horrified, they were horrified in an instant, and they regressed subconsciously. But just as they were about to take action and kill these nuns, all the cultivation was gone. It disappears without a trace, as if everything just now was just an illusion, only the cross on the wall is still hanging quietly. It's all ghost stuff. The CP0 team leader cursed in a low voice. They stood in place, vigilantly alert for several minutes, and then began to search the furnishings in the room carefully. Soon, they have discovered, a basement entrance. Opening the door of the closed basement, the entrance was a long and narrow staircase. It seemed that there was no one to clean and clean for a long time, and a musty smell came from the basement. Hesitated slightly, the CP0 team leader led the team into the basement. Boom. The last CP0, who came down, carefully closed the basement entrance. He swallowed, and followed the large group in front of him, walking towards the depths of the basement. Da da. The sound of everyone's footsteps echoed quietly in the closed basement. The surrounding area was too quiet, so quiet that it made people feel uneasy. The more there is no abnormality, the more it will make people nervous, and they dare not relax at all. No one knows when the horror will come. 
there was a rainbow in the pupils of the CP0 team leader who was walking in the front. He saw that hockey had been turned on and watched his surroundings vigilantly. He was under the greatest pressure, and his back was already wet with cold sweat. Not long. The long and narrow stairs are finished. Everyone stepped into the basement. The basement is dark and damp, and the visibility is worse than in the monastery hall. It is almost impossible to see everything without turning on the sight. The CP0 team leader looked around, raised his hand and gave an order, light the torch. Bear. The torch burns, the light disperses the darkness and illuminates the surrounding environment. And at this moment, CP0 team leader's pupils quake and his scalp is numb. A nun with bloody seven orifices and a gray complexion, like a dead person, stood in front of her with a torch, face to face with him. Roar. The nun was like a green-faced ghost, opened her black fangs, and rushed to the CP0 team leader. Oh shit. The CP0 team leader yelled angrily, and quickly avoided sideways. The nun flew into the air and disappeared in the blink of an eye, leaving no trace of shadow. What's the matter? CP0 team leader frowned. At this moment, the rear team suddenly screamed. A CP0 in the team seemed to be possessed by something. It suddenly became like a ghost, with blood from the seven orifices, blue-faced fangs, and its teeth and claws rushed to attack his own. Moment. CP0, who was attacked by his companion, did not respond, his neck was bitten off, a large amount of blood spurted out, and his limbs twitched and did not move quickly. What crazy, hold him down, don't let him continue to hurt people. The CP0 team leader was panicked, and the sudden change made him get goosebumps. However, this sentence is exported. None of CP0 reacted. Suddenly everyone stopped moving, as if they had become puppets, standing still on the spot. Um? The CPO team leader pumped his heart. Next second. All the squad members turned their heads, they all had ghost-like faces, their faces were blue and black, their eyes were like blood holes, and blood was pouring out of MIMI. Hiss, suddenly, someone opened his mouth, and something deep in his throat crawled out. It turned out to be a strange and unknown snake with fine scales. Uh. The CP0 team leader was horrified, but he wanted to scream, but he was horrified to find that his throat was blocked by something. He lowered his head and saw in horror that exactly the same snake was crawling out of his mouth little by little, and the scarlet snake letter hissed. Moment. The snake that crawled out of his mouth wrapped around his lips, opened his mouth, protruding fangs, and bit his eyes down. Ah. The CP0 team leader screamed, covering his eyes in pain, and suddenly grabbing the snake on his face and smashing it on the ground snapped. The snake fell to the ground, turned into fly ash and disappeared, as if it was a fragmented illusion. The CP0 team leader had no idea whether this was an illusion or reality. The snake disappeared, but his right eye was indeed blind. This moment. The CP0 team leader turned pale, covered his eyes with one hand, and blood was flowing from his fingers. Leave and leave here. He seemed to be crazy, his face was pale, the only remaining eyes were wide, and bloodshots appeared, he couldn't hold on, and he wanted to escape from here, even if he was punished by the boss. At this moment, outside the monastery, many CP zeros are waiting secretly. Da da da. Suddenly, the sound of rapid footsteps came from inside the gate of the monastery. Come out? Someone was surprised, his eyes widened. Boom. The next second, the door opened. A figure covered in blood stumbled out. His face was full of panic, as if he had seen something extremely terrifying. The position of his right eye became a hole of blood, and he was bleeding toward Minmi. Yes, it's a white crab, secretly there is no surprise in CP0, and it is replaced by horror. When the contact signal was lost just now, they planned to send in for reinforcements, but they were blocked by the CP0 person in charge. Seeing the tragic situation of the CP0 team leader now, all the CPS only feel a chill in their backs. The team that went in to explore is not the strongest, but it is definitely not bad especially the CP0 team leader. Looking at the entire CP0 team, it is from the upper ranks, but what is the CP0 team leader now? It's almost crazy, even if I escaped from the monastery, I still shouted in horror, my whole body was shaking. Only when, just then, the gate of the monastery is closed. No one came out except the CP0 team leader, the blood on the steps seems to be thicker. Hurry up and heal the white crab, someone reacted and shouted. As the only person who came out alive, nothing could make him die. Far away. Quite a few celestial dragons rushed over when they heard the movement, especially the muse Garoud Saint, who was scared at the beginning, was most concerned about this matter, and the first one rushed over. Just right. They clearly saw this scene. Ghost. This must be a ghost. Muse Garoud Saint was terrified. 
Shaking off these words, he turned around and left. What are you waiting for? Move out of the holy land overnight. Come back ass. This moment. The celestial dragons standing here and looking out all felt cold and full of fear for the ancient monastery. More and more celestial dragons turned pale and left. They might pack their things and leave the holy land again tonight. And these celestial dragons, which are still left temporarily, have inevitably been thinking of leaving the holy land in their hearts. The holy land really can't stay, even if the adults of five elders don't allow it, they must leave. You know, just a week ago, an adult five elders died in the hands of ghosts. This is really terrible, since they were born, nothing like this has ever happened. Looking back on it now, I feel terrified. It was precisely because this matter was too big that the news of Bruce's death was suppressed, and they didn't announce it until the Holy Land found a solution to the ghost. To be honest, at first they didn't believe that it could be solved. Lord Five Elders died and immediately wanted to leave, but Lord Five Elders stopped them and asked them to watch for a few more days. The result was beyond their expectations. The method is really useful, the ghost was so scared to hide, and did not dare to appear again. In the past few days, the holy place has calmed down, and their little days have been pretty good. Seeing that they are about to regain their former arrogance, the monastery appeared. The holy land is once again shrouded in haunted fear. The celestial dragons present are all horrified. At the same time, after evacuating the right, the five elders gathered in the Marie Joyce Center conference room at this moment looked ugly as if they had eaten a child to death. Just now, they learned about the situation on the CP0 team, and the result was almost annihilated. The only team leader left was also dying, with a frightened expression, on the verge of collapse. To this, five elders immediately took action and asked them to question the only CP0 team leader who escaped from the monastery, and they continued to stay away from the monastery to prevent any ghosts from being contaminated. Five elders knows this point of horns and beards. At first, they went to a haunted place and saw the female ghost in white on the TV. Only then was the ghost in white entangled and killed it once. This time, they were cautious, staying away from haunted places, and preventing all accidents from happening. It didn't take long. New news came. In the monastery, there are real ghosts. Their guess is not wrong, this is another haunted incident. Ghost Monastery, the blonde five elders has an ugly face, and without the ghost in white, a more difficult ghost monastery appears. Moment. He stood up, looked at the person in charge of CP0 in front of him, and stubbornly cut the railway, tell it down, mobilize manpower, and bombard and level the ghost monastery from a long distance. Yes. The head of CPO bends down and salutes. This order is like an electric light flint, issued at the fastest speed, the troops of the Holy Land are mobilized, and they rush to the ghost monastery. Rumble. The earth was shaking. A series of terrifying artillery guns were launched from all over, building a 360-degree firepower encirclement network without dead angles. Under the night, the gun barrels full of black and steel power turned around and aimed at the location of the ghost monastery. The blonde five elders in the distance looked at this scene and waved his arms indifferently. Give an order. The artillery is out of the chamber. The deep night was lit by fire, and the cannonballs dragged the flame tail, like a fire meteor that pierced the sky, and exploded toward the monastery. Boom, boom, boom. The terrible vibration resounded, and the whole holy place was shaking. A cannonball fell on the gate of the monastery, the steps broke, and a wall collapsed. Even the five elders' powers that have been meeting and discussing have been swallowed by artillery fire, the white bungalows have been burned, and everything is turning to scorched earth. The instructions of five elders are not only to eradicate the monastery, but to destroy all the objects in contact around the monastery to the ground. Boom. The bombardment of artillery continued for three full hours, and in the end the monastery had been blown to pieces and became ruins. This moment. Five elders in the distance watched all this, and once again issued a new order to burn. We really want to destroy the monastery without leaving any traces. The flames are burning. Half of the sky was dyed red. It was another three hours, the sky was breaking dawn and the dawn was about to arrive, and the location of the monastery had completely become flat ground, and there was no trace of it that had existed. The air was filled with thick black smoke and the smell of gunpowder smoke after the explosion of artillery fire. Four five elders stood in the distance. They looked at the monastery that had been leveled. At this time, even the cemetery behind the monastery was also eradicated. The gloomy breath no longer seemed to have returned to peace. Is this solved? Five elders is staring into the distance, and everyone is thinking about this in their hearts. Ding. CP0 team leader White Crab is frightened, startle point plus three. Ding. Five elders Saint Edward is scared, scared point plus one oh. Ding. Five elders, 
Luo Wen got up early in the morning, and while brushing his teeth, he listened to a series of beeping sounds in his ears. He lowered his head, spit out mouthwash, straightened up, and wiped the water from his mouth. Looking at herself in the mirror, Luo Wen's eyes flashed with strange light. The monastery was blown up. Luo Wen murmured, but there was no feeling of regret that the monastery had been blown up. In fact, this monastery is not a real monastery in the strict sense, but a projection of the monastery in the original film. The monastery is a gift, and the ghost nun is the main body. Even if it is leveled now, as long as Luo Wen thinks about it, it will reappear in the next second. After all, the monastery exists because of the ghost nun. If the ghost nun is not eliminated, the monastery will never be destroyed. And, what they did, in fact, can't stop the ghost nun at all. The ghost nun is terrible. That is the devil in hell. There is no body in reality, and it is impossible to be killed by conventional means. It must be the devil's medium to kill people. There is only one possibility for ghost nuns to deal with, and that is to kill all people who come into contact with them, and kill them before the last person who is possessed touches other people, and then prevent anyone from approaching the monastery, and block the monastery with special methods. Get up, this is the best way. This way, the world government does have the conditions to do it. But. This must take a long time. How long will it take to deal with the ghost nun? Luo Wen smiled, turned and walked to the refrigerator, and took out a frozen strawberry cake. This is his breakfast today. Put the tablecloth on, put the strawberry cake on it, use a spoon to scoop up a small piece of cream and put it in your mouth. Feel the stimulation of desserts on the taste buds. Luo Wen looked content, digging out the cake one by one. After digging the leftmost side, digging up the right side, digging from all sides, but the cake in the middle did not move, leaving the strawberry at the end. Beside him, Xiao Zhenzi sat on the bed, shaking her legs, revealing her pale ankles. Since the world government had a way to deal with Xiao Zhenzi, Luo Wen called Xiao Zhenzi back. During this time, he lived in his home. Now, the ghost nun is in charge of the Holy Land, and Xiao Zhenzi is free. Xiao Zhenzi come over to eat too? Luo Wen smiled at Xiao Zhenzi. Although Xiao Zhenzi doesn't need to eat to stay alive, it doesn't mean she can't eat. Luo Wen thinks it's good to have some sweets to relax occasionally. No, master, is there anything Xiao Zhenzi needs to do? Zhenzi tilted her head and waited for Luo Wen to give orders. Luo Wen shook his head lightly and smiled, you can relax during this time. You can go wherever you like. This world is still very interesting. You can look around and come back if you have any questions. With that, he took a videotape around him. With the videotape as a medium, Xiao Junji could return to him at any time. Aha! Uh -huh. Xiao Zhenzi blinked, and after hearing Luo Wen's words clearly, he nodded happily, jumped down from the bed, and disappeared into the darkness. Luo Wen looked at where she disappeared, with a smile on her face. Subsequently, he inserted the strawberry on top of the cake with another sub. Take a bite. The juice splashes, sour and sweet. At the same time, the other side. This is the new world in the second half of the Grand Line. Cake Island. Before the ghost nun appeared, the Holy Land did spend several days of stability, but Cake Island was different. The residents here are personally worried. Originally, a week ago, people could be heard talking about Lord Bachiko everywhere in the streets and alleys. But now, no one mentions Lord Bachi, it's not that Hachisha Sama disappeared. It's that everyone is taboo, and talks about it. More and more people have really met the Lord Bachi in the story. Now. The bar where the story of Lord Bachiko was first reported, is now closed for a long time. The boss is hiding at home, shaking all over. He closed the bar early and hasn't opened it again these days. Because the night that the man in the suit finished telling the story, he saw Lord Bachiko at his door. There is the story of Lord Bakai as a lesson for the past. The boss said that he did not open the door that night, so he escaped. But even today, the fear in the boss's heart has not dissipated, and he did not dare to take a step outside the door, for fear that he opened the door and saw Lord Bachi standing at his door. Even, even the powerful pirates who came to Cake Island to seek the protection of their mothers have disappeared. They can't go out or go out. The boss curled up on the bed, shivering with fright, and dared not go out one step at a time. He has already hoarded enough food. Don't wait until the haunted rumors disappear, and you won't go out if you are killed. But what makes people desperate is as time passed by Tenten, not only did the rumors of Lord Bachichi not disappear, but intensified. Now. Inside the castle in the center of Cake Island. The ant sat on the throne. And under the steps in front of her, there are rows of corpses, all covered by white cloth. His gaze swept across the corpses. The ant's face was uncertain, and an extremely terrifying breath rose from her body, and the curtains around the castle went without wind and cracked against the window. 
Boom. The sun above her head, Prometheus, seemed to feel the queen's anger, and it burned more violently as if the sun in the sky fell here. The high temperature was unbearable and sweating profusely. At this moment, all the members of the Charlotte family who gathered around here had extremely bad expressions. Kata Curry took a deep breath. He stepped forward and lifted a piece of white cloth covering the corpse on the ground. The face under the white cloth. His beard was stained with blood, his sunglasses were broken in half, his small eyes were wide and bloody, and this face was indeed Baron Danden. Even the backbone of the ant pirate group, Baron Danden is dead. Kata Curry got up suddenly. At this moment, his eyes are terrifying, and anyone who is seen by such eyes will have to take a break, even if it is a pirate with a bounty of more than 500 million. He spent a few seconds calming his emotions, turning his head to look at the ant on the throne, and said in a low voice, Mom, the holy land is haunted, the naval headquarters haunted does not seem to be fake, it is true. Haunted, damn it, how could there be such a thing to deceive children? The ant was furious, the horrible aura oscillated in all directions. Haunted, damn it, how could there be such a thing to deceive children? Ant scolds. She really never thought that this kind of thing really exists, because she is a soul soul fruit capable person, and she often interacts with the soul, so she knows that there is no such thing as a ghost in the world after death. Answer Morgans, I want to talk to him. The ant looked at the children, her voice low and depressed. Finish this sentence. She grabbed a piece of cake in front of her and stuffed it into her mouth, overeating to ease her emotions. Just now. The ant agreed to a suggestion from Kata Curry, and ordered to inquire about the underground dark world that belongs to her sphere of influence, and those allies, and ask them about the haunting. The ant wants to know all ghost stories and how to deal with these ghosts. So I have to go to Morgan's again. I heard the word haunted at first, it was the news from Morgan's. Parasparrow, who was in contact with Morgan's, quickly took the phone worm to do it. The other side. Kata Curry silently covered the corpse of Baron Danden. The death of Baron Danden shocked Kata Cooley's heart. Even the strength of Baron Danden would die, and the level of haunting had exceeded the original expectations. He wanted to find the ghost, and spent a lot of means to do this, but he couldn't find anything, and he couldn't catch up every time. Just then, a petite and cute girl with antlers on her head broke in. She looked terrified and panicked. She ran into a chair in the hall while walking. She is the seventeenth daughter of the Charlotte family, Charlotte Malise. When my mother was taking a nap today, I heard that weird laughter. The female ghost, the female ghost Master Batchy came to me, and found me. As soon as she saw the ant, May Lisa was panicked. Call. Moment. Everyone in the room looked over. The ant's movement of eating the cake paused slightly. Kata Curry's eyes shrank suddenly, his breath soared, and his face was scary. Owen's eyes are cold and cold everyone present has changed their expressions. The female ghost appeared again, and once again stared at the members of the family. The ant's brows frowned, her paws continued, she stuffed a large piece of cake into her mouth, looked at Kata Curry, and said slowly, Kata Curry, leave it to you. Leave it to me, mother. Kataku's chestnut complexion shone, and the weather was uncertain. The ant's decision was just what he wanted. He can't wait to kill Lord Bachichi and solve the haunted rumors of Cake Island. Mirai's, I will go to your house to guard tonight. Kata Curry looked at his sister, and started to speak. He will be by Melisa's side all night tonight, to make sure that he can do it as soon as Lord Bachichi appears. May Lisa nodded in fear, and looked at Kata Cooley's burly and tall body, she felt a little relieved. Brother Kata Curry is the strongest person in the family besides his mother. Brother Kata Curry will have nothing to do tonight, right? Malise carefully followed Kata Curry, and with the departure of the two of them. The ant's scolding sounded. Isn't Morgan's call connected yet? The ant, angrily, just went to contact Morgan's eldest son Perispero. No, I can't find him, I'm still in touch. Perispero's face was ugly, Morgan's could not be found at the critical moment, this birdman seemed to have evaporated from the world, there was no trace at all. That damn albatross, is hiding in that place this time to secretly film the world's best news? The ant bit off a piece of cake, chewed and swallowed, and cursed at the same time. The other side. Luo Wen in Impel Down happened to have finished the strawberry cake. It's all burnt. He whispered while eating the cake, his eyes were looking at the cake in front of him, but his pupils were not focused, as if there was another picture in front of his eyes. After a while. Putting down the cake again, Luo Wen wiped the cream from the corner of his mouth, looked at the clock hanging on the wall, and his pupils returned to focus. There is a good show in the evening, but it is a pity that it is still a while before the evening. Press a motorcycle. Luo Wen smiled and walked away two steps to sit on the massage chair. Not long. The buzzing sound of massage came from the prison again. 
Asterisk 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 that night. The dark night enveloped the sea, the sky of Cake Island was very transparent, the moon was shining brightly, and the stars were dotted, bringing a faint light to the island below. At this time, inside Melisa's dessert castle, Kata Curry sat in a chair. Half a step away beside him, May Lisa looked nervous and kept looking around in fear. Outside the castle, the brothers and sisters of the Charlotte family were guarding around, they lurked in the dark, searching for suspicious characters. Everyone has a phone worm in the shape of a cake to build a communication link. And the other end of these phone worms were all connected to May Lisa's room. On the table in front of Kata Curry, there is a neat row of telephone bugs. Why haven't you come? The mosquito bit me to death. Conti's phone worm swayed from side to side, and it seemed uncomfortable to wait. It must be known that we are great and dare not come out, coward. The phone worm on behalf of Opal opened his mouth and cursed in a simple and dull tone. Don't be kidding, I want him to come. Sister Flamp died at the hands of a ghost. I'm going to kill him. In a phone bug on the left, Owen's cold voice came. Kata Curry, who closed his eyes and took a nap on the chair, opened his eyes. The voice fell. Several phone worms were quiet, and the brothers and sisters at the other end waited silently. Time passed bit by bit. The moon was bright, and there was a breeze in the sky. Thick clouds came with the wind, slowly covering the moon, and Cake Island became dark under this moon. It was like suddenly in the late middle of the night, and finally the wind stopped, everything became quieter and silent. Kata Curry concentrated more and more, carefully listening to all the changes around him. Suddenly, a voice rang outside the door. Kata Curry, have you caught any ghosts? Is it the voice of the ant? Hear the words. Kata Curry got up from the chair, shook his head and said, no. Wrong. Halfway through the conversation, Shaw stopped, and Kata Kurisho reacted quickly. This is not mother, mother is not here, now in the castle. It's a ghost. Kata Curry made this judgment in an instant. He didn't rush out immediately, there was red light flashing in his eyes, this was a sign that the sight of the world had opened. This moment. Kata Curry looked out the window, and through the half-covered window, he saw a tall figure standing in the doorway under the dim moonlight outside. That is a woman. Wearing a white dress and a sun hat on her head, the long hair under the sun hat is scattered and obscures the side. She can't see her face clearly, giving people a gloomy feeling. I definitely don't want to see her front face. Kata Curry clearly saw that an exaggerated and hideous arc appeared at the corner of the tall woman's mouth, and a strange and inexplicable laughter sounded. Ah! May Lisa exclaimed, this is the laughter she heard at noon today. Daughter come over to mom and open the door for mom. The tall woman outside the door spoke again, but she made the voice of an aunt. Brother. May Lisa glanced at the door that had been knocked several times, then looked at the figure of the tall woman faintly visible outside the window, hid behind Kata Cooley in fear, and F asterisk ked the corner of his clothes. Kata Curry frowned. This stalemate is not the solution. Jay ran. He moved. The strong fist turned into glutinous rice, covering armament hockey and spreading out. Boom. In an instant, the sawdust was splashing, and through the debris, the tall woman behind the door could be clearly seen. She was terrifying, hideous and ghostly, and as tall as a mountain. In an instant, Kata Cooley fist is like electricity, bombarding the abdomen of Master 8 Kai. In the face of these, gloomy and cold, the female ghost Bachi Sama standing outside the door raised her hand, Nuomi's fist hit the ghost's hand, the shock wave from the shock made the grass and trees low in all directions, and the excitement of the collision was dull as thunder. Master Bachichi stood steadily there, um? Kotaku was shocked, he felt that he had hit a thick mountain. The opponent grabbed his hand with amazing strength, and the fists covered with armed colors were squeaked, even the steel used to make warships would be crushed into powder under such strange force. This incomparable strange force Kata Kuri has only been experienced by one person. That is now the queen of IWC Toto Land his mother, Charlotte Linlin. Next moment. Kata Cooley punched again, his fierce aura was soaring, and his punches were like falling meteorites. However, Master Hachichi, disappear, without warning. It just disappeared from Kata Curry's eyes, in an instant, he felt a sense of powerlessness as he punched the cotton. The rainbow light in Kata Cooley's pupils never stopped for a moment. But I couldn't find the trace of Lord Bachi. Even if his experience has reached such an exaggeration that he can even predict the future for a short time, he still can't find Lord Bachi. The world has evaporated, inside the house. Malai's curled up in the corner in fear, holding her legs trembling. At first she heard her mother's voice and couldn't help but feel happy. After all, she was the strongest mother, and she gave too much security. 
But later, when May Lisa saw the situation outside the window, it was a mother at all, but a ghost, standing at her door, knocking on the door one after another, and making the same noise as her mother. At that moment, May Lisa felt her scalp numb. Da da. Kata Curry stepped through the shattered gate and walked to Melisa's side. Looking at his trembling and scared sister, he comforted him and walked to the phone worm on the table after a while. He wanted to ask the brothers and sisters outside if he had noticed it. Suddenly, Kata Curry got goose bumps on his arm, and he suddenly discovered that, at some point, a gloomy woman with disheveled hair was standing in front of the window behind him. Those ghostly eyes were staring at him without blinking. You stay here. Kata Cooley threw off these words with May Lisa, and his body was instantly covered with armed color, like a dark meteor, crashing out. Boom. The window broke and even the wall shattered. But the moment he rushed out, Master Bachi disappeared again, five meters away. Guru Gurukata Curry lifted his palm, and glutinous rice rushed out of him, like a big river instantly enveloping the eight-footer five meters away, every inch of glutinous rice was covered with armament hockey, and the eight-footer would be directly trapped and killed. What, just as Nuomi was about to close, Lord Bachi suddenly disappeared and escaped from Nuomi's siege. Um? Kata Curry could instinctively feel something was wrong, and at this moment, red light suddenly appeared in his pupils, as if a certain scene disappeared before his eyes. Boom. He smashed the ground with one foot, turned around without hesitation, and rushed towards Malai's inside the house. Same time. The light bulb in the room dimmed, like a short circuit in a wire, and plunged into instant darkness. A gloomy ghost appeared behind May Lisa, and his two arms stopped May Lisa from behind. Kata Curry's eyes widened. In this instant, he saw with his own eyes that his younger sister was dragged into the darkness by Master Bakai. The room light was only dark for an instant, and the light bulb relit in the next instant, and a messy room was re-illuminated. But. Malai's was gone, disappeared into the deep darkness. Damn it. Kata Curry roared, his sister was caught in front of him. He knew this and reacted immediately, but the other party could disappear directly, faster than his movements. Find. Red light flashed in his eyes, looking at any corner of the surroundings, he must find clues, otherwise it will take a long time. At this moment, Kata Curry thought of Flampe's fate. Just then. Boom. After hearing a muffled sound, the figure of May Elisa suddenly appeared in the center of the room, she fell out of the darkness and fell into the air. Kata Curry rushed out instantly to catch the fallen sister. Popopo. Po, po. At the same time, the strange and deep laughter of the bashy female ghost echoed faintly in Kata Curry's ears. This disheveled, graceful and terrifying ghostwoman once again appeared in the original place. Standing at the door, he quietly looked at Kata Curry with a pair of hollow eyes. This time. Kata Curry has no time to manage, he wants to save his sister. Boom. He steadily caught the falling Malaise and hugged him in his arms. However. Malaise, who was in Kata Curry's arms, widened her eyes, her expression was terrified, she had lost her breath and died silently. Damn it. Kata Curry growled depressed, his face was ugly, his fists were squeezed, his anger was incomparably, his veins raged, and his chest was dull as if it was blocked by a stone. Suddenly, he turned his head and looked out the door. The laughter was gone, and the weird and eerie female ghost standing at the door was gone, as if everything did not exist. The ghost is gone, but the sister is dead, dying under his protection. Kata Curry and others looked down at his sister in his arms, with a horrified expression on his face, he was silent, his heart was angry, and he blamed himself. Elder brother, the phone worm has multiple voices, the voices of brothers. It's just that they didn't hear Kata Curry's response. Some Kata Curry knelt on the ground, hugging her dead sister. The room became quiet. Going downstairs in the moonlight was quiet, and there was no light on, and it seemed silent. The wind blows, the clouds move slowly, the clouds covering the stars and the moon slowly move, slowly revealing half of the moonlight, the moonlight illuminates the island, the scenery on the island becomes brighter, and the moonlight enters the room and illuminates it. Two figures, May Lisa, who was dead, and Kata Curry who blamed herself. The two figures are dead and silent under the moonlight. 